Famcast Media. Bitch. You wanted the best, best. you got the best. The hottest podcast in the world. From the dungeon. With your host, Mark A. Bernardo. And the rock Don't miss out, because you will be left. Hey, hey, welcome to Front of Dungeon Podcast. I'm your host, D-Riding Along, and Mark A. Bernardo. What's going on, Marky B? Not much, bro. What up? Bro, can, yo, I swear to God, man. I've never met somebody in my entire life who's greedy with soda more than my wife. Now, you guys are still fighting over soda? No, no, so, no, no, no. Take this, take this. I only have a cup of coffee in front of me, right? I didn't buy no water, no drinks. There's nothing to drink in the house, right? And I'm not, I'm not drinking sink water. I refuse to drink yeah. fucking sink water. So, so I fucking, so she's like, she's like, I got a soda. And I'm not drinking soda, but I'm just like, Yo, I'm so thirsty, I, I, I'll tap. I was like, but let me get the whole thing. It's a 16 ounce bottle. Let me get the whole thing. No, I'll give you a cup. Nah, then keep it then, bro. If I can't have the whole thing, keep it. You know, it's like Jesus Christ. <laughs> like shit, I'm over. I'm dying over here, bro. I'm thirsty. I'm drinking coffee, bro. I'm thirsty. Nah, I'm just like Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Whatever, though, man. Don't be greedy with your sodas out there, people. It's not the liquid of life. It's not coconut water. It's just soda. What's up, Mark? Not much. Drinking my Arizona. See, look at that. You just fucking got Arizona, man. I'm over here drinking a fucking coffee, bro. Like, damn. I never drink coffee. I last coffee I drank was like, I don't know, maybe 1989. I had a job where I got up at seven in the morning and had coffee with the fucking crew. I don't do that shit no more. Turn up, up my, my mic Scott? is up. My mic's all the way up, man. My mic's all the way up. What are you talking about? Let me see. Hold on. Your mic don't sound nice. Cool metal in the background. What is that? There we go. There we go. Is it? Is it? It's good enough. Good enough. Good enough. We'll get back. Yeah, we'll get back. How's my volume? Where we go? How's my volume now? How's my volume now? How's the volume now? Oh, oh, he hit us back. He hit us back. Has Mike sound nice? It's just much lower compared to yours, Mark. Why? Wait, hello. His mic sounds not out. Oh wait, I don't get it. I don't know. Let me see. It's Mark's lower on, Mark's compared on 40, to me. Mark's on forty-four. He's good. Whatever. I up. I up the. I up the friggin' the volume here. Pumped up the volume like uh, Christian Slater. You know. If y'all kids know that what that movie is, you know, pump up the volume, pump up the volume. Right. I'm great. trying to get the, the younger chicks at work to watch Heathers. That's a great movie, dude. It's a fucking great movie. And this chick's got kind of funny. And I was talking to him like, dude, you know what you need to watch? You need to watch this movie Heathers. And then the way I explained it to us, like, it's a kid's suicide. Dark. And then she looked it up. She went, dark comedy. I went, yeah, dude. It's, it's got it's, but it's, it's a soliloquy it, of life. Yeah, it's, it's a great movie. All well, them fucking chicks. Wow. All the stupid shit. I love my dead gay son. Bro, I <laughs> saw, I saw that movie, dude, in eighth grade, man. I saw that movie, Heather's man. When's your eighth grade? What year is your eighth grade? My eighth grade was uh What's up, John? What up, Jake? Like it was No, it was it it was uh it was ninety one. Ni- well, okay. you know, the, the end of Still a cat, man. I swear to God, bro. She's 21 and 91. All right. Yeah, so I, I, like I, started, I started Dickerson in September of 1992. That's when I started Dickerson High School. 1991. Always on the run. Dizzy, you call it Feathers 1000. Hey, man, nobody's nobody's remaking Heathers, bro. That's it. That's a, that's a, that's a no-no on my They will. They'll just add cell phones. That's all they'll do. All the remade movies, they just mm. add a kid with... with Stupid cell phone. That's nice. Yo, what is this Karate Kid remake with Ralph Macchio in it now? What? The Cobra Kai? 
No, Ralph, there's another Karate Kid coming out. Ralph Macchio's in it. I don't know if it's like part five or Who's what. Who's with that? But they haven't said anything about it, though. As Jackie Chan in it, too. Oh, I feel like Big Pussy Poppin' Zero smoking this fucking big cannon. Well, what is that big monster you're smoking? It's this 2G blunt. It's like this and that and that. Three things in this blunt. This slugger, dude. The 2G blunt juiced. How much weed is in that thing? What's With the, the, what's the uh, Rosin and diamonds. The diamonds. It's, it's fucking potent. It's a 20-minute burn. No, but what's, we'll the, see. What, what's the TAC level? Oh, that. I don't know if they're telling you that on these, on these blunts. No, they do all my little cookie things. Infused hybrid blunt. No, there's no... We might be just like I fucking look for it, bro. I'm telling you, kid, these cats only bug out when I'm on the podcast or when I'm playing video games. That's when they start bugging out. If I'm doing nothing else, they're relaxing, bro. That's I, weird. I, I don't, I don't get it, man. I really don't get it, dude. It's like my. Can one we cat's... have the cats on and see if the cats enjoy the podcast or not, bro? My one cat's jumping on the wall trying to rip down. I got cat wants to get. On the cast. She's trying to rip down my uh my wedding funeral CD. The limited edition first one, bro. You had to go to a show to get this. I feel like a big Guido smoking a cigar in a mob movie. Is it is it weed or is that tobacco? No, it's weed. It's you diamonds, guys, it's crystal. You guys in the audio gotta check out the video, bro. This dude's smoking a big ass friggin' blunt with a with a glass tip on it, bro. And it's like it's called what is it called? The New York Nick? No, it's a slugger, but it has that. It's a New York sour diesel, but it has the NY, the basketball, make it look like the Nick you know logo. If, it's if, pretty if cool. If they call it a slugger, they should have had a base. They should have the Yankees on it. Because it's yeah. baseball slugger. Fucking Aaron Judge. Fucking that. Oh, we got Well, stop bringing up. Well, oh, well, stop bringing up your cats to the Lucky 13 Slim problem. Wait, why? So, yeah, bring my cats to Lucky 13 Saloon. That's crazy talk right there, bro. That place got ghost in it. Well, that's what look. that background is, right? Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that that's lucky, yeah, that's Lucky 13, man. There's a ghost there, bro. I don't think I've ever been there. In their first one, there was an actual ghost there that was in love with the owner, Jeff. And when, and when they were moving out, bro, the ghost started, like, throwing shit around and stuff like that. Now, dig this. What? Dig this. He went back a couple years later because it's an Italian restaurant now, right? He went back a couple years later with his parents to take him to dinner. Bro. A picture frame that was nailed to the wall flew off and flew at him feet away. Flew at him. Wow. And he was like, wow. Yo, I, got, I gotta go. The spirit was mad. He left. Because the spirit was low. And they also say when... um. When people were closing there, uh, they used to hear things downstairs and stuff like that. Things used to fall. People used to get freaking uh, stuff like 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 tapping on them in the bathrooms and stuff like that. Bro, people get you know, I always down. see shit weird like that. And I go into my boiler room, like smoke a cig or something. Yeah. When it's completely dark and ask for shit. No, you'll do that, <laughs> dude. It's fucked up, right? It's you dark in here. That ain't nothing. What? <laughs> And I just fucking go, and, and I make it like, like, like I'm the thing that's like, yeah. What are you like, gonna? I'm what are you scary. gonna do if it happens? It'd be weird. I don't know. I won't it'd know. Be it'll, it'll be, be like, it'll be, it'll be weird. <laughs> like, Whoa, what the fuck was that? Well, I have a hard enough time thinking I'm seeing a UFO, but it's the light from the back window. Oh Jesus! You ever, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. You think you see something, and you're like, no, that's through my glass. I was like, I thought that was a UFO, and you're like the light of you making a turn is just reflecting and making it look like it's in your sight. And I'm like, Oh no, that's, it's not there. I don't know, man. I don't know. You shouldn't be invoking anything to come. Cause yo, they usually sometimes they'll push you. What if they push you when you fall? You'll be like, what the fuck? You're going to be like, yo, I'm at Jackie. Like, I don't know. I think they only bother people that it's like, invoke there's a connection them? to that. Yeah. Or something. Bro, you're over, here, something. Saying, you're I, over I just, here saying, come at me, dog. Like, yo, no, on. no. Like something in their life that leads to that. Like, you know, the cousin of a thousand bastard motherfuckers, you know, like uh, something is, along the line. Riffs is working, JB. Riffs is at work right now, I think, man. He's at work. 
Or either that or he's probably sleeping, you know. He's, he fell asleep the last time he was supposed to be on the show, you know. No, I saw that crazy video of those kids in that tunnel that looked down that tunnel that Skinwalker came out and then jetted right. real quick. Yeah, there's like a really good video. Like these dudes in these tunnels in another country. Was and, it real? And they, I don't know, dude. You don't know. Everything we watch, we don't know. That looks scary. Like, ah, yeah. they just make this up. Or, but yeah, it's a classic a Skinwalker where you're like, oh, my God, that's real. Like, imagine, there's if, hiding ima- that. imagine if everything's just Hollywood, bro. Nothing's real. Nothing on the TV is real. Everything's Hollywood. Like every video we've ever, every, every creepy video. video. Every every ghost video, everything, bro, it's all Hollywood. I don't know. I feel like sometimes there's abortions that people use to go, look, an alien in Ecuador. And they try to put teeth on a little, remember like, the, uh, fucking embryonic dead baby and go, You don't remember there's what they did in Mexico? In Mexico, bro, they found out that, that fake alien stat, that fake alien. They tried to say it was an alien and it wasn't, it was nothing. It was fake. Couple months ago, people want to make what? What about the dudes in Vegas that walked out the house and said, "Look, there's eight aliens sitting in our car." Oh, was it not? That oh, was the, weird. What about the one? Yeah, or, or was that the one where they were walking in their backyard or something like that? Trying, they were going through the garbage yeah, or something. They came out to look for it. And they're like, they're sitting in the in the on our SUV. Come yeah. on, man. These alien stuff, bro. People gotta chill out with these alien videos, man. I don't know, bro. I don't like the denial of everything that ever happened thing. I'm getting tired of that. Like space is water and it don't exist. Like, I, I, I just mean, watched I, meteorites fall into Earth. Space I does mean, exist. It ain't water. There's people out there, bro, that could really make good alien videos, bro. And, like, you wouldn't even know if it's real or not, bro. You'd be like, oh, shit. What we got here? Mr. Scott. Everybody's so worried about what's behind uh, Mr. Scott's Antarctica. Mr. Scott's a little thing. Uh, you should check out the longest Bigfoot sounds ever recorded. I think it's over 10 minutes long, and it's crazy thing ever. Is it Hollywood, though? Is it Hollywood? I don't know. There's a lot of things. People been hearing things, and I think there's this thing in Europe. People are hearing like in the, like around. They're like they can't get it. I think there's a dude with the. I told you the coolest amplification system for some kind of horn, and yeah. is going. Well, well, you know the first... you go out and amplify something like when you lived out in the middle of nowhere and just like. <laughs> and then everybody's like, they do that. the end they of time. That. It's called some dude with a machine, like a sound machine. Right, like somebody, like, no, it's some kind of epic machine or something that they crank up and it makes music and everybody thinks it's the gods coming. Oh, it's like, no, oh, that dude just amplified some little toy he has. Mr. Scott thinks that's real, bro, the Bigfoot sound. He's believing it. If he believes it, bro, and this guy's real skeptical, dude, about everything, bro. And he said, I don't know. It. I don't know. I don't, everything in mid-America is, is a farce to me. And it's all mid-America shit, right, Bigfoot? Yeah. All that. Yeah. Every guy thinks they're cute when they go camping and go, look what I found. But you know what the f- yeah, you know it's like I don't know. know. The first the first thing I the first thing I could think of that, that you know people thought was like was was the crop circles. How did that happen? Were people really out there doing like making crop circles? Like, oh, oh this is gonna be funny. I think it was Jed and old Tommy like doing circles of beer, cans of beer on the back of their tr- tractor. And just made some crazy ass crop circles. Yeah, yeah. And oh, then he told wow. another farmer like seven thousand miles away, right? Me and Tom and make circles. Like, everybody thinks they're everybody thinks they're UFOs. You should do that on your farm too. <laughs> and then yeah, I don't know. Oh, then it just started getting better and better and better. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Like... yeah. There's like crop circles on it, and it's like a thing. Shit. I don't know, man. I don't know. You got I don't know me, what to brother. believe. You got me. Even bro. stuff on video, I don't even know to believe it anymore. I don't even know what to think anymore, bro. I'm just like, yo. I guess I'll when I, who even knows when you die if you know if you find out anything, bro. You could just die and then you're gone. Then that's it. You know, and you're over here thinking you're gonna you're gonna understand everything, and it's like, bro, there's nothing to understand. You're gone. That's it. All right? No, being alive is what's up. It's not right. You know? There's no virgins. There's no nothing. There's nothing, brother. You know what it is. Dark, pitch black, dark, bro. That's fucking cold, man. I, I, <laughs> it's cold, man. Oh, yo, guess who I met on? Guess who I met on Sunday, bro? You told me lay it out. Ice tea, bro. Ice tea, man. And I froze. And Coco. And Coco, yeah, Coco's wearing a white mink, bro. I froze like a fucking mark, dude. 
What, he, what was he looking for? Your car? His car? He's got a beautiful Range Rover, white Range Rover, bro. That was probably a Sunday ride. You know? Mm. This is my Sunday car. To ride around to ride around uh to ride around New Jersey. This is my Sunday car. You know, that's not that's probably not his California car. You know, he's probably got a Maserati or something in California. Would you roll up to him and go, Oh, Oh, look at who is it? Mr. New Jack Custer over here. Uh, yo, you ever see these people yo, that get all stupid I mean, when they need somebody? I, I, <laughs> I, yo, I couldn't even know. My, I didn't even remember my name. I turned around and looked, and I'm like, I know this guy. And I'm like, oh, shit, what up, T? I, I called him T. I didn't even call him Ice, bro. I called him T. You know, and he's looking at me, so I help him with his ticket and shit. And the you only thing. call him Sergeant whatever from the show. The only thing I could think oh, to to Tutorolo, to Tutorolo, whatever. Right, right. <laughs> the, only th- the only thing I could think of was I was like, yo, you gotta do a track of my homie Scribble from California. He's uh, like, yo, that, that track will be hot. And he's like, word. And he hit my hand, gave me the dad. Put it, he put his hand out and dapped word. it. And I'm like, yo, this is the left hand of power now, bro. This hand right here could break down walls, man. Rock a bar, baby. This this hand, bro. Can you imagine what ice? Well, you know what my uh, what lucky Jeff was in lucky thirteen was saying. Yeah, you know you're like five degrees of separation away from you know smacking cocos, but this and that, he's like, yeah, you're also five degrees of separation from him probably whacking off too. I'm like, it's still <laughs> power great. though. It's still <laughs> power in this hand, man. Whoever said that's hilarious. <laughs> that's funny. Ah, I don't get all like that. Ah, nah, it was I've cool, seen man. many of people. It is cool. I've seen many people. As long as you know who they are and what's up, you you got to step to them like you know them, and then it's all gravy. Yeah. You have people around you going, you know him? I'm like, bro, know him. Dude, this is like, yeah, this is a fishbowl bass player. Yeah, bro. Like, I told, I told the, lady, how to the lady behind them had smooth. the same kind of car, and I was like, yo, you know who I just was talking to? She was like, who? I was like, man, that was Ice T. She's like, who? I was like, the guy from the guy from Law & Order SVU. Oh, oh, I know him. Yeah, we got the same car. I was like, yeah, yeah, you got the same car. I was like, I guarantee you that's not the same damn car. Shit's probably hooked up. But she had a big ass rock on her left fucking finger though. So I was like, yeah, man, you you got you got the dough. You got the dough now, girl. I guess. But that was cool. Everybody man. Did that was cool. Something like- the last the last other famous person I ever met, well, I met the wrestlers. Remember I said it was Seamus, Miro, Cesaro. Yeah, I don't know who the last Seth Rollins, person Rollins, Becky Lynch. And before that, it was just uh, I met Mark, sat there and talked to Mark Henry. That's awesome. Mark Henry was cool, man. He was the only cool. wrestlers I met was Booker T and the other black dude at the time. Uh, fuck it, this wrestler. Oh, fuck. And Scott know. Hall. I got to drive Scott Hall to the airport. You met Scott Hall? Yeah, I got in the airport. the airport. And he was fucking, he was clean. Well, it's Mr. Scott over here fucking saying, yo, uh, you met Ice T and Coco. Now you have to meet Mr. Coffee and your life will be complete. Mr. Coffee, yeah. fucking guy. Yeah. Bro. You had a chance to meet Joe DiMaggio. That oh, was Mr. Coffee. Shit. Is he dead? Yes. Yeah, I'm not meeting him. I'll go to his grave. He died in the 90s. Damn, so many fucking people, man. Dude, rest in peace. One of the greatest, craziest fucking... Supersonic Ooh. bass players in the history of mankind, TM Stevens, bro. Well, man, Got to see him for. once. He played for James Brown. He played for fucking Miles Davis. And then he's on a hundred records. Like Joe oh, Cox. He's one of those. Billy he's not, he's one... Taylor Dane. Another Taylor Dane. Tina Turner. Like he's a session guy. He's, oh, he's But he sat those... in front of the Apollo as a little kid to meet James Brown at like eleven. Mm-hmm. You know? Like Mr. Brown, I'm gonna play with you one day. One of them dudes, bro. What do they call what do they call he's a, he's a he's a Johnny One take? He's the uh, dude that sings, like, living in America, basically. Really? Living in um, Yeah, he got that going. You got the session wasn't Tell going good, bro. TM, TM made that shit happen. It was one of those. He was a good shit. storyteller, man, but he got, like, dementia or something, like, 17. Dementia? Like, bedridden. Yeah. Dude, I went to see this dude to the wetlands, and then they were great, and then this guitar solo dude played the guitar solo, this black dude. I'm like, I can't wait until he says his name. And he was like, ladies and gentlemen, Kirk Douglas. And I was like, cool, I'll never forget that. And Kirk Douglas is now the dude that's in the roots every day. The black dude that threw his guitar down and lit it on fire in the commercial. Really? Remember that commercial? Yeah. yeah, that's Kirk Douglas. I saw him play with TM before 
he was even a shadow in the roots. And I was like, this is a bad motherfucker, bro. You Killing him. it. And you saw him before he so, was a seed in the roots. <laughs> yeah, he was dude. And he was in a he was in a straight funk rock band. He was blowing shit. He that dude could be in fishbowl. That dude could be in fishbowl. Don't be front on fishbone, dude. I was just watching that documentary again, bro. Fucking He's better up. than the guy now. I'm not dissing the, the fishbone's Wait. guitar player now. It's very laid back and just not as like know. a Rocky George or like the yeah, other guy. Because they, they, they got they got um they don't got the OG guy back, man. He was he was there for a hot minute in 2020, bro. And then Angelo Moore is all about you know he's like, but it's all about the money, and we're not giving you know probably a heavier cut. We're taking, a, and it's like you know yo you're a real bitter dude, bro. It's like you got every other bit of, everybody's they original. Got their following. Everybody's they original got their fishbone, following. but the guitar player and the drummer. All the other guys are all originals. Yeah. The right now they're all original. Those three. We got oh well they well they got the keyboard keyboard players original, sax players original, uh bass player, vocals. Yeah, that's it. Four guys. So Cook Kurt's expensive SG. Kurt took sorry, Kurt's Kurt. expensive SG on the tonight show and destroyed it on purple. What? Huh? Kurt who? Kirk what? Kurt Kurt's ex- who well, who's Kurt? Kurt, Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain, Kurt Kurt Russell, uh, uh Kurt fucking Captain Kurt. <laughs> Captain Kirk. Captain Kirk. Prince took well, who's Kurt's ex- the guitar player? Oh. The guitar player in the roots you're talking about. Prince took his guitar and lit it on fire yeah. and destroyed it on, on Saturday Night Live. Wow. That's a waste of idea. Prince got money to burn. Literally. What's his name? What's the name you just said? What Kurt uh Kirk. Chuck Douglas. Damn, Prince got, money to, Prince got money to burn, dude. That's crazy. Oh, garbage man. man outside. What time's your garbage man come pick my garbage up? Good night? Mm, no, seven in the morning. What Why did he destroy it? What's the purpose? No, what Prince asked purpose? to borrow. Oh, he asked to borrow the Roots player guitar to play on a tonight show, and he destroyed it on purpose. Damn. Probably because of the commercial. Well, you know, Prince probably gave him a new guitar, but yo, here's one of mine. You know, he, yeah, that he, that dude was incredible. This, that dude was a really good guitar player. He, what Prince? No, the other guy too. They're all good. Everybody no, guitar no, player no, that's no, out there no, as an empty no, day no. kill, bro. No, Prince people is, kill. Prince daily. is better than all of them, bro. Prince was great. Prince was great on bass. Just watch him play bass with Larry Graham. Dude. That's a that, fun fucking what was the, YouTube what was video. The, what was that that Saturday Night Live episode where, where all those guitar players were up there and then Prince just came out and just like busted out the song? Uh, my guitar gently weeps. Bro. With Tom Petty and this yeah. one and that one. And you saw everybody turn around and look like, holy shit, back up, give him uh, the fucking spotlight. We all knew. I don't know. Really? Did they all act like it was fucking day one? I don't like that. Bro, but Prince, man, I'm telling you, man, Prince, that's it, bro. That That's where... Yeah, Prince he's... got some tapes on YouTube, and you just go back and like these live '81 punk session. It's just they're so good. Ooh, that coffee's hot, man. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I wish I had some soda. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that ain't happening, bro. <laughs> oh man, you got what we got? We got we got a little more time before we get into <laughs> top five <laughs> underestimated bands. Horrible list. I don't, you know what? I'm starting to be anti list. Anti list? I'm, I'm, I'm joining all these groups, and everybody's like, you know, there's bands with five records out there. And everybody's like, let's list the top five records. Dude, relax. There's five <laughs> records. Nobody really needs to list them. There's 24 hours in a day. I can't pick one record to listen to for the rest of your life. I don't like that. And I'm starting to, I'm like, everybody my age is fucking idiot. He's starting to list everything like fucking idiot, like they're gonna die, and everything needs to be on a list. I'm getting tired of that. Enjoy everything the way it is. That's all. We don't, don't need a list. list it. This might be our last list then, because we don't need lists. We are the list. Prince was number two. What we got? Uh, you haven't noticed? Yeah, uh, I don't. You know, Prince is real good, but I there's somebody that blow fucking Prince's mind. Easy, easy. Think so? I'm not saying Michelangelo is gonna get up and be the guy. He's like, look, I play with four hands. I mean, in, okay, I'm going to say this. In, in my lifetime, seeing in my lifetime, the two best guitar players, hands down, in my lifetime, Eddie Van Halen and Dimebag. 
that I've seen in my well, lifetime. That was fucked great. up because I'm not mentioning Dave Mustaine too, but he's like number three. Yeah, they're good. But the fucking dudes that have ripped the fucking heads off that they went to GIT and shit. Like Paul Gilbert and guys like they'll fucking kill them too, bro. They'll fucking harass them. But where, but where are they? Come for go van. I want them on tours, bro. This just you don't you don't follow it. They're oh, out I'm there. Saying, Gunther saying, Govan. My, I just said There's my a lifetime. dude named Gunther Govan at Steve Vai and all them. I'm like, Jesus I, Christ. I, 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 this said guy. My, I said in my lifetime that I've seen. Maybe you've seen different. You got you posting know, you a bias. Different. That black dude's playing eight strings. Jesus. Then there's kids on the YouTube. Hey, I just watched one of them Jason Becker videos. Jason Becker used the track from 1988 because he can't play no more with yeah. the David Lee Roth band. And I watched 35 guitar players play solo in this fucking rhythm track. Holy shit. Every that, guy. That was you name him, he was on there. Even a guy like, oh, like Rick Emmett? Like it was one of them. We're that like, was, oh, this, you know who was in this? Who? Remember the kid that goes, hey, what's name three songs by the band on your T-shirt? You know that kid? Oh, yes, 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 yes. He's on it. He could play? Yeah, he was good. I went... Oh, and I went, that's right, he's in a band. And I went and watched his little solo. But he didn't get as much time as Vi and certain dudes, but he was in there. They all got a cut. Is he a dime bagger of Van Halen? These I don't guys, know. Those, these guys, look, no, you could play. You could play anything. But can you write a classic? You could play. You could play your ass of off. But can you fucking come up with a classic? No, that's the whole thing. That's the whole, that's the whole thing. Jared and Dines. after how many how many dope classics can there be where you go, I don't even know if anybody could have made something great now, but there's always good shit. So uh, Mr. Scott said Jared Jared Dines is his name. Or uh or Rob uh Scalion. Scalion. Who's that? The guy you're talking about, the 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 guy who's was, you know, name the three bands. Ripping the ripping the riff. Gotcha. The black shirt kid. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, he was on there, man. He was blazing. And this is the second time Jason Becker put something out and did this. He did it with a bunch of guitar players like a few years ago. He must have a new project out. You know, you know who's good. I didn't good. even know it was coming out. You know who's good that gets underestimated, bro? Who's underrated? What's, what's uh fucking um hold on one second. Let me fucking uh give me one second. Oh. Malcolm Brickhouse, bro, from fucking from Unlocking the Truth. That guitar player is underrated big time. Unlocking the truth. Was that a kid's band? Was a kid's band. They, they, he yeah, the kid's like 28 he's got, now. Yeah, he's got his, no, no, he's 22. Oh, and they I, were like 14 when they played? Yeah, I, I met him. And now we, we, we interviewed him in Lucky 13. And wasn't uh, wasn't one of them related to Living Color? No, 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 but they met them. They they met uh, they met Vern. I felt like they were related to Vern them. Or right, Vern? Okay. Vern and Reed. Yeah. They, they met him. Like, he was a real big... Uh, Real big provider for uh for them and stuff like that. But yeah, no, that dude's a man, that dude's mad underrated. His solo stuff, man, it's like it's kind of like princess and shit like that, man. People won't like it. It's an acquired taste, but his guitar playing is Does he good. have inst- instrumentals on it? Like instrumental shit? No, no, no. No instrumentals. No instrumentals. I did you interview a god unless you got an instrumental fucking song somewhere. I, in interview, your life. I interviewed a band, bro, that the whole band was an instrumental band, bro. I fucking I can't remember the name of them. But I interviewed That's them in cool. like like fucking season three or something like that. They came to my house, bro. They were, he says he's uh, the guy I asked, I was I was like, you know, basically what he he's 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 like his leads are the words. Right. You know? He's like, That's he, awesome. he's like he's like my leads are the words. And I was like, yo, they're all three dope musicians. You know? That's cool. That's I like I like dude. Marky B has a fucking canyon of that shit in here. Who's he I listen about? to a lot of instrumental music, bro. The guy Marcus talking about played with a tray you at some concert. Who's Marcus? Uh, you, mean, you mean Malcolm? Yeah, there you go. I'm in the fucking room of how high waiting to bro how fucking yo how's that fucking that that blunt bro uh, i'm nice i had to put it out it's a 20 you, minute blunt i know it's a little longer you got hit it's 20 minor it's i put i'm a little hit i got a little a little a little, little, yeah, little yeah, bit of this a little bit of that i'll be back you're a little parts now now you look at your, your cheeks are red bro you got yeah you can't drink and smoke at the same time oh wait you're drinking arizona yeah 
No, what's, what's I mean, in the just, Arizona? Just, 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 <laughs> no, no, I just can't handle both things. Like, I gotta wet the whistle. No, I hear you, man. I hear you, bro. No, I want to be the first DJ on an instrumental rock channel. Let's go. Start it up. Where's the millionaire out there that watches? It goes, fuck it. Fuck we'll I'll do fuck this. It. We'll I'll do, do this it. channel. You know? I would love that, dude. It would be very easy. Oh, yeah, now, now I got to start changing up some of the shit in my player because I'm like, all right. What do you mean? What happened? What are you talking about? It's been here. It's been here for a little while. Now it's starting to put the, some of the other songs on. I don't be putting full albums in. I need to be taking the six. Oh, you're, not, you're, not, you're, you're giving up the old yeah. school style, bro. You're not going like a whole album. You're the, you know, nah. the whole album's a message, though. Nah. There's a reason Can't why. Can't do it all the time. Not on a player with fucking with so much fucking bites. You got to bing, bing, bing. Especially bands like Mr. Big. Like, you know, your, your 12 ballots are out. Like yeah. one good one. That's it. Everything I, I need, everything to be like double bass or the, the killer of song. Yeah. I guess, you know. man. But I mean, but I mean, there's, yeah, certain, like, there's, there's certain rocking albums. Around. There's certain albums you gotta li- like. Look, man. Like, like I'll I'll put it like this, man. Like, um, what is that damn fucking album? Oh, um, no, God. there's lots of albums that are like that. You ain't kidding me. Because sometimes I go, oh yeah, that's right. I left that up. <laughs> you're right. But there's there are a few where you're like, it's got to go on. Like the old every song. Yeah, I have one in there. There's like a chains record. There's two. There's the first Alice no, yeah, or something no, weird no, like that. No, dirt. You you gotta listen to dirt the whole the whole way through. No, there's something up there that I don't like. They, that's a. I get a real junky feeling off that. I have to turn that. Really? Nah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's I mean, a little oh. sad. It's a little sad because of the way he died. Like dirt, dirt, and so is the other one. In my darkest hole. Oh, that saddens me for so long. Not to plan my funeral yeah. for the body. Damn that! Oh, you just fucked my world up right there, dude. Ah, yeah. Holy shit, dude! Yeah. Great. I like Little Bitter though. You ever hear this song off the soundtrack to? Uh, I think that's the my favorite song by Alice in Chains is A Little Bitter. What soundtrack? The pace. Uh, the the, the other song. What the hell have I is on the soundtrack. Um, with the kid and the fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, it's last about action it. hero. I think oh, that it's on the, that. That, was, that wasn't even on an album, bro. I think that was just made for that. No, it's made for that. Yeah. So, what the hell have eyes on the one and the other one? Is yeah, it's great. A little bitter is tremendous. It's got a great fucking beat. It's very fucking junky. Yeah, it's all that shit is very fucking drug druggish, yo, to me. It's sad, man. It's sad. Hey, well, look at that. Mark is right, bro. Mark is right. Yeah, I guess, man. If you don't make sometimes money. this, you know, you get hit. And you're like, ah, this is too real. You're like, no, Fuck. Dirt, dirt is dirt is very because me look at what. Even though like I don't like listening to him all, but Rooster is a hundred percent real, bro. Those are the that, stories. I like those that. Are stories that, that Jerry Cantrell's, no, cool. Jerry Cantrell's yeah. father told him those stories. Yeah, no, the Rooster's cool. The Rooster's great. I like uh, I see you in the what's that? Uh, uh, no, damn that river. Yeah, damn that river, and the other one. The, the, to me, that 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 uh, stay with heaven is that fucking song. Bro, Rain when I die, bro. Rain when I die is my probably my second favorite chain song. That and that little bit of wow, wow. When that shit, wow, when that shit wow, came out on cassette, bro. Me and uh, Mr. Scott, bro, were fucking uh, rocking that shit, bro. Uh, junkhead, junkhead, bro. See, I can't listen to that. I know you got it. What's my drug of joy? Uh, well, you know what, man? At least they, they were the only ones giving you that side of the world, bro, going on in Seattle, man. I like uh, what's the one? Maybe it's on the next record. <laughs> Yeah, something. It, uh, it's so the last the record. Dude. No, that last. What's that last record called? Oh, dude, With I'm uh, not, I, I'm not listening. To got me wrong. Not got me wrong. What's the last record? Uh, that out that day with Stanley. Back to the coldest winter chill. Oh, that, that's a self-titled that album. That's a self-titled. That's album. what that's called. Yeah, the self-titled. Three-legged dog record. Yep. There's some. There's, there's some good shit on that, dude. 
That's that's another one too, though. You're like, ah, this guy's probably barely fucking banging us all out. What do you got? What do you got? I'll tell you right now. The, um, I well, I bought the I bought the, just I bought it off the box set, though, man. Let me see. Uh, the last song, uh, Lane Staley recorded with them, bro, was uh. Um, that? Yeah, is that that brick in the wall? Uh. No, it, um, it was called "Get Born Again." Get born again. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, I stopped, I went, everything, everything after that, I was like, I don't, I don't, I was like, I'm not paying attention. Who's trying to make money off this or whatever? Well, no, well, they said, don't, no, they, they recorded that. I know, they, it, it was that, no, they recorded a song called Die. Those were the last two. They said he had no teeth in his mouth, bro. They had to re, redo his vocals yeah, and shit to yeah, fucking fit that. Going around. Oh, it's horrible, dude. I mean, he died fucking, he deteriorated pretty quick. Oh, like, yeah, and I dude. watched somebody die. I watched somebody like my uncle like die of AIDS and shit. I mean, it was like a fucking process. This motherfucker's process was like quick. He didn't have any. He's just like, oh, well, no. Well, now, well, like, now they now wound up. He's fucking dehydrated, drug but, death. Like, but now they got now they got pills, dude. Where you can't even die of AIDS, dude. They got pills, bro. You just keep popping the pills, bro, and it keeps prolonging it. You're gonna you're gonna die. You're gonna die from organ failure after popping those pills after a while. Am I inside off a of sap is beautiful. Yo, the whole sap album. Sap, well, is, the great, sap is one of the greatest EPs of all time. And you know what? Sometimes I don't feel that way because I'm like, I don't know, this, it's so real. It's like so moody that you know, I like judge sometimes. I'm like, nah, like, that's a real big piece of art. You know, you know, they recorded a video over there by C.H. Martins in Journal Square inside the, inside the theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that. Never, we were in. I was in high school when they were doing that, bro. It was like it was. It was like we we I get, we found out after the fact, but yeah, they they were they recorded it inside. Uh, I forgot the name of that song. It was off a jar of flies. Yeah, those fly that flies thing was cool, and the little sap thing. And, yeah, you I like that little. You know how they came up with sap? Mm-hmm. The drummer Sean Kenny, he said he had a dream, and he had a dream that they made an album, an acoustic album. They called it Sap, and it went platinum. And he woke up and he told Jerry, and they made the album. Wow. And it went platinum. What are they up to? They just on tour. Or They're still doing it. They're still doing. Well, so Jerry's dry, Jerry, Jerry's, Jerry's dry. Oh, she's giving me the soda, guys. I don't know if I yeah. want it now. I don't know if I want it now, man. I don't know, bro. Take it. But she took Take a sip. But she took a sip. She took a sip, guys. Oh, no, it's she not tainted. It it's not hundred percent. It's not hundred it. percent. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Mr. Scott, oh, my uncle gave them permission to film in C.H. Martins. Oh, oh yeah. they filmed, So they filmed part of the video in C.H. Martins in Journal Square, too. C.H. Martins. You know, right that there by Crossy from the Pat Train. Too. When I was a little baby and kid, I, I remember that store. I was I was one of those uh, Journal Square babies. I got dropped off and my grandmother lives on Tunnelly. I got to watch them build that big white building. Yeah. That's the, was the, yeah, that was the train thing. All yeah, that. He said, uh, remember the fucking Burger King? All of that. Everything in the new Burger King. I met Walcott Frazier. There's no, there's, there's the no Burger, Knicks at that new Burger King. There's no Burger King no more at the parking lot, bro. The, the one at Pearl. Remember the one we used to go to that was uh, around the block from Pearl? It's a parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. I, they fucking, I met Walcott and all the Knicks, bro, as a kid there. Was it, they were the, opening it up. The shot of that little girl coming out of the clothing rack is what uh, they needed. Oh, yeah. So they did that in C.H. Martins. <laughs> Can you imagine that, bro? You wake up and you tell you you tell your guitar player, like, look, man, I just had this dream, bro. This is the name of the album, and we're gonna do it all acoustic and it's gonna go platinum. And then you do it and it goes platinum. Bro. What happens? What what's out that year? Maybe it was a bad year. What was that? Sap? That was ninety Sap went platinum? Yeah, Sap. What was platinum. on Sap? Hold on a second, I'll tell you right now, man. Why do I why do I think I don't have this? You don't have sap? You ain't got Alice in Chains if you ain't got Sap, bro. No, I think it's the only thing I don't own by them after the the, the last album because I didn't buy the greatest hit. Yeah, I don't think. Why do I think I don't own Sap? Just tell me what's on it. I'll know if I own it. No, I'll tell you right now. No, I, I think know. I do though. I'm I'm an idiot. Got. All right, Sap's Sap's got a. Uh, let me see. Uh, track listing. Brother got me wrong. Yeah, I have that. I have right that. I got me wrong. Though. Am I inside? Yeah, right. Oh, they got Am I inside, and love song. Yeah, yeah. Did you just say yeah, that was your that. song? Am I inside? The other guy. Oh, and, oh, okay. So, uh, Mr. Scott was saying that. 
So they put two of those out. That and Jar of Flies. Those are the two. Yeah, Sap came out. In, uh, Sap came out February fourth, nineteen ninety two. There's a good concert of them, like on YouTube. They're in black and white. It's in Seattle. It's really good, bro. You know what else was OG. good though? Uh, Lane Staley's yeah. elder band, bro. Fucking um. God damn it! What the hell's the fucking name? What he did with Mike McCready from Pearl Jam. God, my my mind is blank. Mr. Scott, can you help me out here, bro? Well, I know this band. What? Not the Temple of the Dog. What are you talking about? No, Scott. Uh, wait. Draw flies. What? What the hell's he talking about? Draw flies is, is the other record oh. by Alex and James. Oh, what the hell is that fucking up? Oh, what the hell? Oh, Mad Season. Yes, Mad Season, Mr. Scott. Mad Season when he oh, did Mike McCready. That was good that's too, a, Jerry. That's a, yeah. I only liked a little bit of that. You didn't like the whole Life thing, bro. Was dead. No, bro, no. I don't think man. they needed that. I don't think he needed that band. I didn't think they needed. It I thought I was though. trying to. Just, nah, I don't it think was, it, was. it was. It was like was, you know what? It was like they had that. It was that, and you had a. Uh, you had. Um, I didn't really give it a chance as much. Temple of the just Dog the out. Yeah, I actually like that. Well, that was just a thing for something, wasn't it? What Temple of the Dog? That was uh that was a, a tribute to uh the guy from Mother Love Bone. Right. That that was their Which tribute. Which is awesome. To... Which I liked. I like that. That was up more. That was a little bit of like... glam in that grunge. I like that. I only liked one song of that. It just really didn't hit me. I only Which liked one? one song. The, the the main track, bro. Well, you yeah, know. like uh I liked the I thought the, the, the some of the music in Star Dog Champion I thought was like epic. It was like epic, yeah. like this the guitar intro. I have a few things that hit me. I go, man, it just don't mean nothing. Like since that dude died, it's like the soul, like being ripped out of something. You're like, wow, this ain't even gonna be anything. It just, it just didn't hit me, bro. That, that, that only, only song what was, what was that? Frig- Stargazer. Uh, there's a yeah. couple of good songs. Oh, come on, bite the apple. It's just a, there's a it's two. I don't, think, I don't bro. really think I don't think Mother Love Bone would have been anything, bro. I don't think they would have broken through the through the glass ceiling. You know, I don't think they wouldn't have been no Pearl Jam or Soundgarden or Nirvana or Alice in Chains. They would never have been. They have to be. Who says they have to be? But but they were. They would have been. They were all in that band though, so you don't know what the fuck. Yeah, it would have just been. Maybe that. Maybe this dude did need to fucking die. Like sometimes that happens. It would have been Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, uh, Nirvana, and Mother Love Bone. (laughs) No Eddie Vedder. No Pearl Jam. No, the Melvins would have been more famous or something. The Melvins are about to be in New Jersey, bro. They're about to play White Eagle Hall in September. I just went to White Eagle Hall. I told you it was a fine little outfit. The Melvins are gonna run. Melvins are gonna destroy Jersey City, bro. Downtown Jersey City, man. You're gonna see Buzz come out and go. <laughs> what am I doing here? I-, I don't know. I'm Buzz. I was in a world of that. You know that. Yeah. Let's, let's let's knock out this top five, man. Let's knock out this top all five. Right, I have no any. Yeah, all right. Go ahead. Let's Who's your top out. five underrated band? I'll, I'll Everything start, we'll start, I listen to is underrated. We'll start off at five and we'll work our way up at one. My fucking my number five was the Sex Pistols. Very underrated, bro. Great musicians, great album. You know them and the Ramones. Kickstarted oh, punk. The punk bands are just too. I don't know. That's cool though. I guess they are underrated, but they. What pistols are you talking about? Johnny Rotten. All, all, in, all in the whole thing. The OG no, pistol. There's only one album. Well, oh, I mean. Yeah, um, but I don't, consider, still I don't consider Sid Vicious because he wasn't on. He was only on two tracks on the album. But yeah, you got to throw him in there. Sid Vicious did right, play. So that's a, Sidney that's did an play underrated two tracks. Band I don't think that's <laughs> underrated. Yeah, very, very underrated. That's your opinion. Yeah. Go ahead. What's your number five? They do have. I have that one record. You know what? It it, it is, dude. I, uh, somebody had to give me a to listen to. It was, it was what it was. It was cool. Um. Good. What's your number four? No, I have no list. You everything no I list? listened to was underrated. No, right. I can tell you, Living Color, this, that, and the other thing. I everything I listened to, Jesus right, Zap, everything. They were all underrated. They get no shine. Four, my number four is Kiss. This underrated. is an underrated band. Underrated. Everybody I talk to, you, bro, says, "Fuck out, Kiss sucks. Kiss sucks. Kiss is garbage." Ew, you like what Kiss? What are you talking the whole, about? The whole collective. The whole collective. Take the the, the D rotten box set and give Doesn't them somebody matter, to write it. Everybody I talk to, they're like, "Ew, you like Kiss? I can't believe you like Kiss." What's Kiss's worst album? You're gonna give to somebody. You're gonna go. You know, I'm gonna start off with their worst album. 
Their worst you're gonna album? Get, you're going to start them off with something at the I'll worst give, level. I'll give, them, I'll give them the last two. Sonic Boom. I was going to say, we to do that? I'll give right, Sonic I mean, Boom and fuck. I'll give them Sonic Boom, bro, because that to me is probably the worst album, bro. I didn't listen to it. I'm not listening to Scab. Kiss. What if you gave somebody like The Elder and started Kiss Off with The Elder, oh, like right in the fucking great, middle? Though, Yo, smoke a joint and listen to The Elder, bro. It's, it's some a feeling on that. It's, it's a yeah. story, man. We got it, Scott. In 40 plus years, Kiss only had one number one song, and it was written by the drummer, Beth. Yeah, but you know what, man? Fuck what the people think, bro, because all the other songs from Kiss kick ass. See? Yeah, like, I could another, steal anything for my baby. We did deal. Uh, like, you know, there, there's so up. many good bow, 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 Yeah, tell us You know, God of Thunder and Rock and Roll. Whoa. Come on, man. How about um, that fucking bass line from that Sean or something? That's a classic cut. Oh, fuck That's it. What classic. about fucking, what about that, 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 uh, that disco song? <laughs> I, listen to that. I also like i actually fell for i don't you know what i never i never i don't wager in any of the solo album nah, like i never no. listen to them there's always a, never there's always ever a big, that's always a big never talk. bought one my friend had them we listened to them when i was seven when it just came they're out, not, the hype. They're not, better, I than just, the, they're not yeah. better than when they all four collectively played on an album. I was like, what's this diversion? Even when you were a kid, I was like, four oh, fucking solo go, albums. Just... 80s Kiss over here. My favorite song is Tears Are Falling. Uh, end of the video was the funniest shit ever. Paul Stanley standing in a quarter looking like he just, uh, looking like he just uh, peed his pants on the side of a girl. Why? Just. <laughs> Inside out of that school. Oh no, I should have, oh wait, jizzed his pants. Okay, jizzed his pants on the side of a girl. Oh, hold on, we got Mr. Scott. Hold on, hold on. Mrs. Scott, hold on. Crazy Mrs. night is funny. Mrs. The Mrs. talking Scott. parts of you're, Crazy you're, Night. Mrs. Scott, yo, yo, you're, 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 you're live, Mr. Scott. You're live. Oh, I know. I got to talk with my disguised voice here, buddy. But I just wanted to let you know that that your uh, text to speech system's all messed up. So I sound like I'm a fucking retard over here. Okay. Well, what, what, what do you got to say? What's going on? Yo, tears are falling and shit. That's all I got to say. Peace out. Oh, t- tears are falling and shit. There we go. We got oh, scribble back no. on the line. We got scribble back on the line. Tears are falling. Yeah, so, so, so Mrs. Scott calls in. We got tears of fall. So let's go. Uh, let's pick my number. Uh, my number fucking three is the Bad Brains. Very. For, you know what? Uh, now I would. That's somebody I think they thought. Like, yeah, they're probably underrated. Underrated. They got a. They got a, a cult following, kind of right. Yeah. But uh, they have that whole separation with the other dude. It's that my whole first soda in three months. Good. You shouldn't be drinking. I drank one today. We split one. You know what you do? You split it. You have everything you want bad. You have to split with I'm your girl. Just, I'm probably just gonna take that sip, dude. Probably that's it, man. I'm. I'm that, yeah, that, that was that. strong. That was strong sugar right there, bro. Hey, that's one of those pineapple sodas too, right? Uh the Inca Cola. Yeah, some would have some yeah, flavor, be, flavor be that is. Be easy. I'd say this. My number two, Static X. Static X is very yeah. underrated in the metals in the metal world. Could love them or you could hate them. That's like one of those things. My friend Trev really likes them. That's another one. That guy's dead and it's somebody else is living on that Rob yeah, Static yeah, world. But, that but, li- but, that look, they, everything too. Yeah, but they had to get his parents permission to do that. So his parents, yeah, his parents like, are down, you know, because him and his wife are both dead, so the parents own his percentage. Can I ask you a question? Did Rob Static have a solo career or was he just Static X? He had a solo album. Well, like, can this guy like do Rob Static solo? Like, like now you have people Wait, who being. Who are you talking about? Who are you talking like, about? Rob Static. Who's that? Static X. Oh, is that, well, they just still called just Static X, though. That's what I'm saying. That that dude has never had a solo. He was never oh, like a Zero. Solo his, no, his name is Zero. His name is Zero. The new singer. No, he, I just met Rob Stat. I meant Rob oh, Stat. Oh, okay. You're yeah, calling him by his original name. You're calling him by his, uh, his just, yeah, first was like, name. So, that that dude have solo shit? He had a solo album. Rob still the Rob Static record. It, it was called. So, we, it was called if Wayne somebody Static. dies, can somebody be that dude? Yeah, there is. It's somebody that's is. <laughs> that's guy, he, it's the singer. It's the singer from um, the singer from Dope. 
but he's calling himself Zero. So can I just say Zero? They're like, I'm gonna do acoustic songs of all this guy. That's no, weird. It's like not to ruin- attribute somebody and it be that. Like it's the, not like-, ru- like look at Scott said, Mr. Scott said, it's not ruining his legacy, man. They're all dude. That that singer was his, like his best friend, bro. So it's like it's paying tribute. Oh, okay, gotcha. You know, they 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 took they took the vocal lines that he had, and they rewrote. They put them. They put you know they wrote the music to his vocal lines that he had, in uh, I guess on dad okay. tape or whatever. Hey, my, my number one. Fishbone. Yeah. Fishbone should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, dude. They should be in the Rock and Roll Fame. Fishbone, I love Fishbone. You know without that. Fishbone, there would be no Goldfinger. There'd be no No Doubt. There'd be no fucking Chili Peppers. A shit ton of bands, dude, without, without Fishbone. Yeah, and that's got, a good call, got, dude. And they got shunned. They're shunned from the Rock and Hall of Fame, bro. They're not gonna so if they come around they're... this summer, you should come see them with me if they come around. I might just mind, man. I got, I got to meet yeah. Angelo more. Yeah, I, I gotta meet Angelo, you know he has I a solo. You know Angelo has a solo band, right? Oh, Doctor Mad Vibes. No, it's um, the brand new Step. He does that thing too. That's his solo, but he has another oh, yeah, band. That, he does he's got that. Uh, that that, that play a bunch of shows. What do you call that? What do you call that? That fucking thing, man. The Thurman. Yeah, is he he rocks the thermos. He rocks that thermos, but bro. He, still, he rocks the sax and all of the other shit too. So he's I'm playing like, other things. I watch it. He's very busy on stage, especially when he's singing and he's got to grab that mic and line that up to that to the sax to that mic. That mic is crazy, bro. They were playing a show, bro, in the documentary, man, and it was just like it was just part. Fishbone is red hot, and 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 right when they fight, right when they were coming with the da na na. He's on a balcony, bro, like 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 yeah, Roseland, that... and then just back falls off into the crowd, and it's like they push him to the fucking stage. I'm like, bro, that must be a rush and a half. It must be a rush, to right? Do that. I've like... been in a few of those where you're like, you got to catch him, dude. I told you, Shooty's Groove, record release party, Barry Ballroom, eleven of a oh. up front. <laughs> a dude jumped off the stage, and everybody kind of moved, and he went down and fell on his arm. What a fuck! It was dude. crazy. Yo, I just got a message from Scribble. Scribble said, Kiss is literally one of the biggest bands in the world. Just because people around you talk shit doesn't mean they're underrated. Hey, Scribble, from what I hear too, man, you don't like Kiss either and you call them fucking cornballs. So I don't know, man. You know what I'm Kiss saying? Kiss had great songs, bro. I'm glad it's over. I just like the, I liked my songs from the history. I don't yeah. didn't really follow the thing did up until now. The new, did you listen to the new Ace album? I heard a lot of reviews on it. And I heard a little bit. It's just, it. it's 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 not the right home it. about. I don't think it's better than the Kiss album. Yeah, no, no. It, well, it's, it's better than Sonic Boom. <laughs> it's it's just he's got a new video. He's got a new video out. Dude, the video the video is 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 cheese incarnate, bro. It's just cheese. Like, bro, you got money, man. Can't can you like not make a fucking cheese video? It's like it looks like he spent like a thousand dollars on that video, bro. He got some Everybody guy in school. Everybody really needs to make a video anymore. Okay. Yeah, but you know what, man? It's it's cool, and it puts a story to your song. Uh, to me, it should be playing live. Play, well, be, your band's dope. You should be playing. I like live videos. Did you bro. See, have you ever seen Ace live, bro? I heard he's mad sloppy. He's very sloppy. So, people are getting old. Some people are not on top of their craft as much as they fucking. And, it, and it was, I saw this one dude. This one dude on another podcast said uh, he said he went to go see him at like a Sam, like a, a fucking uh, what do you call that? What music store is that? Sam Ash, bro, to get his album signed. Ace didn't even pick up his head and look at him, bro. Lee, Lee Gershman, bro, the guy's name is. Ace didn't pick up his fucking head. He just autographed it, pushed it to the oh. side. The girlfriend was like, "Thank you." The girlfriend said, "Thank you," and he's like, "Oh, I got some stuff for you." Ace still never picked up his fucking head, and the girl was like, I'll take that for him. It's like, bro, you can't even acknowledge your fans, dude. Mm. They're outside waiting in the cold. You go to get lunch, leaving them in the cold. It's like, bro, you don't get lunch till the job's done, Ace. You know, you're not a fucking, you're not a big rich kiss guy no more, dude. You know, unless you're with the collective, Mm. you ain't nothing. I don't know, man. Ace pissed me off, bro. Got dying probably rolling in his grave. Him and Eddie. Like, shit. They, Dime never freaking let anybody fucking leave, stay in the cold. He didn't go eat lunch before you, you know. He and he ate lunch either there while autographing 
or he ate lunch after the autographing. I don't know, man. Ace, Ace just got some balls, dude. What do you think about the Whatever. Problem, Neil, Neil Sean will get up and rip Ace really to shreds. He's How many working, other guitar players will rip him? He's, he's working with the guy from Trickster. Yeah, I saw that. I, I didn't really. I only heard the one song. I didn't really listen to it much. I'm not really interested. You're not missing. I listen that. to more high powered, high powered gunslingers, dude, than Ace Frehley. You're That's like that. a handgun, bro. That's like people, you know, playing with handguns and shit. Yeah. When you're like, bro, I got this thing, I got these two guns thing that are on my shoulders that shoot fucking bullets like that at a crazy rate. That's the kind of guitar players I listen to. You're not missing much. Ace, you're not better than Paul, dog. I'm sorry. Even though Paul's fucking using vocal tracks, Paul in his prime, still not better than Paul, dude. I'm sorry. Still not better than Paul. That's just my opinion, dog. That's just my opinion. Oh, it's- What's going on there? Who, who got any questions? Any, any, any one of these four people got any questions for us? Any questions? Anything, bro? Throw something out there. The first time, just we're about to get a number too, bro. I'm gonna get a Google number, and we're gonna be taking phone calls and shit without, you know, besides Mr. Scott and Scribble knowing my actual number, we're gonna have a fucking Google number. You know, so people who don't know me can call in and not call on my regular phone. You hear me, Scribble? Scribble's on the line right now, bro. He's chilling, killing, eating penicillin. <coughs> oh, man. Scribble, what's good, bro? You it's can't. all about if you could blow Neil Sean away or not. I put, I put Neil Sean, a 70 year old guitar player, right there. It's blistering. There's yeah. a guitar player up against him. Oh, no, like Ace Fairley would fail. Oh, put a guitar Christ. player up against Neil Sean. What band does he play? So for? Neil Sean, it's Journey. Journey. Still plays him. Yeah, no, we laugh. Watch a couple of solos. I was like, all right, 70, 72. Uh, Every year we're getting older. Pretty soon it's going to be like the 80, dude. I got got to specify. Mr. Scott, we're not taking political questions. We're not geeks and gamers, bro. We're not geeks and gamers. That's that's Friday Night Tights. I I know know. nothing about geeks, and I know nothing about games. Well, you play that. but So what's that? So you got the new basketball game. football. What's going on? I have that? that. I play. I, you know what? My controller was fucked up. A couple of things happened. I was just like, you know what? Fuck this game, bro. For a little the while. One? Yeah, I had it. I've been had it. So I can call it. And then I started playing football. What's wrong? What's wrong with your controller? That basketball's not working, but football works. No, I got a new controller. Ah, I'm just starting. Okay. I'm just playing the football more. Yeah, that sucked. How's that? Dude, I watched my boy play the new Madden on uh, YouTube from uh, the Break Room Podcast. Shout out to those guys. I watched my boy Vin play play that shit. Bro, it looks real. No, what they do, insane. bro? It looks real, man. I thought I was no, watching but, real football. I know. It, the handles are just much different every year. I got so... I know. I dipped out. I dipped out on all that. Hold so on. is the fucking basketball game. My mother thinks I'm watching a fucking Nick game. And I'm playing Scott, I got a question for you. Dream Warriors by Doc and yay or nay? So what? Uh, songs about Warriors or it's Dream? It's the song Dream Warrior, bro. You know that. Come right, on. You know all, that I love, song. Dude, I love fucking Doc and... I'm all in, bro. I'm a Doc and fan. I saw Doc and a couple times. What was that? Freddie? What was the name? I was three I, or four. Listen... You want to know something? I was at the Bird Show. I watched a kid wave a George Lynch solo record at Don Dockin at this Dockin show. I was like, what is this kid doing? He's going to punch in the fucking neck. Wait, was, was, was Lynch like, there? It, no, it wasn't. George Lynch was not in this part of Dockin. Oh, my God. I was like, fucking bro, go fucking put, stick that up your ass. Why would you do that? Funny. That's like going know. to a Kiss concert. Doing it. That's like going to a Kiss concert and waving an Ace Freely album in front of their face. I what guess. are you doing? Like, what are you doing? It's like getting too high and going to buy CD collecting and then going home with a Joni Mitchell record, and that's it. So I guarantee you somebody in the crowd probably punched him in the back Something. of the head. The, the album fell, and they stepped on it, bro. Like, there goes your album, guy. But I was like, uh, and I was like, look, the person was like, ah, uh, the bird show. I missed that. Play. I remember I went to a bird show, so I went to see Enough's Enough. And uh, I was like, all right, but they're on. And I moved up. You know, now you're like the second row and you're watching and you enjoy yourself. Little J, like puffing. I was like, what? I was like, oh, shit. Did I see my friend Christian? I haven't seen him in a while. But look behind me going, oh, shit. And then there was all that room. You ever go to a show where you think it's like packed and it's it's yeah. not in back of you? And it's like, it's like 
40 feet until there's just people hanging out, like, watching the show. I was I, like, oh, my God. I went to Birch Hill once, bro. Uh, my boys Ruptured were playing there. And the uh, headlining band was Sabra Cadabra, a Black Sabbath cover band. Oh, that's band. cool. That's cool. I know who that is. Motherfuckers were trying to fucking convince me. They were like, yo, that's really Tony Iommi. I'm like, no, he's not, bro. He's like 10 uh, shades darker. One of those, one and of those like, idiots. And they're like, and, and I'm like, and he's playing righty, not lefty. Tony Iommi can play both ways. No, he can't, dude. He fucking only play lefty, and he's missing a fucking finger. Yeah. This guy got I all his fucking apologize things. to the rest of the world for uh, New Jersey goofy musicians from New Jersey that say the stupidest shit. I, I couldn't believe it, dude. I'm like, what are you smoking, dude? Like, yo, I, I know who the fuck Tony Iommi is. And that's not Tony Iommi. Next thing you're gonna say to this fat dude is blah fucking Ozzy Osbourne, dude, which is not. Oh my god, man! But they were great, though. They were great, bro. They didn't. They didn't miss a lick. The singer was a fat dude, bro, but he just sounded like Ozzy. Sabbath's pretty good. I, I, Sabbath cover band would probably be pretty fucking cool to be in. Here we go. We got another one for you, bro. Mark, have you heard of H E R? Everyone's course, hailing huh? her to be the best guitar player of today's era, yeah, but it turns great. out, oh, that's turning out oh. most of her live performance videos. She are. Uh, She's our guitar playing. Oh, she's she's my she's fucking Paul Stanley in the track with the guitar. Oh, live. so what? But it's but it's her playing, right? Her so she's record. not playing live. You're telling me her don't play live? She's not playing. She didn't play live on the Super Bowl. Don't don't go by the Super Bowl. Nobody ever plays live on the Super Bowl. I oh, saw that. Prince does. Or well, I saw something. Like, you Prince, know what? I did no, see that. I didn't think she didn't, was Chili Peppers didn't go so live, but Prince you're did. You're telling me her don't play live? That's what he's saying. He's saying she plays to a track. She plays to a track. Well, she's uh, you're saying she air guitaring. See, my friend, see, that's what he's saying. Yeah, because I saw something that wasn't right, but then I saw her play, and she's here. We go. When she does play live, it's awful. She only sounds good when she air guitars. (laughs) I mean, she might be just a studio junkie, bro. Like some people out there are only good in the studio, but you get them live on stage standing up, they suck. You know, they're like, they're not good in front of people standing up, but you get them behind a booth, they're wailing, dude. You know, they're sitting down wailing because they probably, maybe they played with, they only you played wailing on sitting down. I some like people can down. only, some people, some people can't play standing up because they're so used to fucking sitting down, jamming that they just sit down. It's a whole different world. You got to adjust everything to be the right fucking way you did when yeah, you, you gotta got watch, comfortable. Adjust the strap up. Make sure. Yeah. Are you choking? Are you not choking? Are you playing yeah. Hetfield style, you know, all the way down? Well, you gain speed with getting in. We're having that weight there. You know, down here, you know. You, you, yeah. You, you're Tom, killing Tom it. Morello, that's all on your neck. Tom Morell is playing, bro. That's the best for fucking. Like, if you want to fucking rail that neck, bro, you got to play up to the fucking thing up here, bro. A lot of hardcore guitar players always played, we called it choking. Because they had everything up here, dude. It's like, there's no going down, you know, and you got more strength and your arms up and shit, you know. I I like like that playing, but uh, you know what, man? Too many people just like, I didn't want, you know, too many people like, oh, what are you choking? No, I'm not choking. I pull my strap down. You know, like, holy fuck. We got, uh, but you can't be the best guitar player in the world, like they're saying, if you can't play live. Gotta blow up live. Dude, you gotta listen to the beginning of this Nuno song I have. I'll send it to you later. It's the funniest thing in the world. It's a fo- telephone call explaining uh-huh. to Nuno, like, yo, bro, you gotta blow up live. You gotta do everything you can do in the studio live. You know? A lot and of bands just, like that, bro. A lot of bands like that. Great. They will not do Sorry. it in the studio if they can't reproduce it live. They won't do it. A lot of bands do that, bro. If you can't do, get people fucking dance. He goes, Get people dancing here and Uno go, wow, wow, wow. That's the fucking thing, man. It's the fucking thing. And the song starts. It's a really funny phone call. It's like a classic, <laughs> classic thing in the Nuno community. Everybody's like, who's the fucking Nuno guy? Like, who is this guy? You can't. And he's definitely from, Mer- uh, what's that? Where they're from? Boston. You can hear the Boston accent. Oh, you got everything in water. All that. You got the, the hard. Yeah, we produce. You got you to yeah. drink some of this water, Nuno. You know, I get people from Boston, and I go, hey, "Where are you from, Boston?" I go, "Yeah, you can't, get, you can't get rid of that that accent. Like you, you no. can't need some soda. Need some soda. <laughs> the car, park the car. You gotta park that car over there, over there. 
Sometimes, Ma, yo, you know what's funny, bro? I don't, I don't hear it. I only heard it when I went to California, and I heard, I heard how they were talking, and I'm like, I started listening to myself. And I'm like, holy shit, I do talk different than them, because they're not talking like me, you know. And they would yeah. look at me like, because I would like, you know how we talk, and they're like, uh, I, we talk, I so called slang driven and shit. Like I forgot a fucking etiquette <laughs> when I was eighteen. <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't know. I know what I need to say, but I'm not. I'm not doing it that way. Oh, it's Scott. Scott's still on this, but you can't be the best guitar player in the world, like they're saying. Okay, well, he wrote it again, or am I hitting? The you game? can't be the best guitar um, player if you can't get up and body Steve Vai or body Neil Sean. Start with Neil Sean. Body dying. No, you can't body Van Halen. Can you body Alex Van Halen's guitar skills? Yeah, Alex fucking's a drummer. He's got Alex. Yeah, dude. Right, right. Imagine comes out, Alex comes out playing acoustic and then like starts going on a guitar tour and then blows our mind. You can't. Dude. Funny. Well, you know it's funny too. Got, Alex, Alex is not talking to nobody, bro. Alex is just staying quiet, bro. He wrote a book. Oh, really? It's out. It's coming out, or it's out. And somebody, there's a book out, bro. Alex, fucking getting old, bro. People are writing books. I, I guarantee you he probably did the audio book too. That's probably why he stayed off and he probably read the whole book on his audio book. That's what everybody's doing, bro. They're doing their audios, bro, and they're just sitting there, you know. They, and they say a lot of people, bro, like um, what's what's his name, bro? Machete. What's his the guy that plays Machete, bro? Fucking what the hell? Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo, yeah. They said that his book is a great read, but when he does the audio book. There's no life in it, bro. They're like, yo, it's boring while he's reading it, bro. It's better if you read it yourself. Oh, so what? You could buy books where you hear the audio of the dude telling you this book? Yeah, they norm normally 90% of the people who, who the book's about, they do the audio. And they'll read you the book. Uh, it's, bu it's bugged out. I listen to some Star Wars books, bro, and they're audio books. And, like, they do, like, the they do, the like, in the Star Wars ones... They do the voices of the characters and shit. So it's like, you know, you like you feel like you're there and shit, bro. It's pretty cool. Audiobooks are pretty um, cool, man. I think, uh, I guess. If you don't know something about somebody, and if, if somebody's going to tell stories you already know about, you're going to listen to them. And I don't plus, know. And, and plus too, I like they're, podcasts. But they're, a good, yeah, they're, but they're a good thing for the car, too. Like, you know, you're driving, you listen to a podcast, an audiobook. That's good I don't for the know. Ride. I, I don't listen to podcasts like in my, on my, any of my, only like when I'm looking through a thing, I see you on. Well, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna lock on this for like ten minutes until I go. You know, or the Jared head PEs like Friday nights. When I'm when I'm yeah, walking, just, I'm walking around my job, bro. I just I can I I'll jam through like four or five podcasts, like at four or five episodes, and that's my eight hours. Boom, gone. It's like an hour episode. Yeah, too much. It makes my day go that's quicker, bro. The day goes fast. Does a little. I do. I do. Uh, my. Fantasy drafts don't work. It makes the day go real quick. I got a couple this week, real quick, because everything's got to be on time. Like the, I disappear from the people and go, oh, it's eight thirty. Let's go. And they're like, oh, it's a pick. You know, and I go around the car and I load you, in. And go. Are you winning money with these fantasy again? things? Or no, are you playing. You paying? Am I what? Are you paying money? No, with it's the free. It's things? a free Yahoo league. I've been in since like the year two thousand, bro. Okay. I've been doing this since I did this as like therapy since fucking nine eleven. You said, bro. Remember, remember, in the year two thousand. People will yeah, have I, flying cars and then I'm coming up. I'm playing fantasy, got into fantasy leagues. I have a group of people have been in them for years and then I got some. Oh, here we go, that. man. Here we go, Mr. Scott. Today's rock scene is so awful that I find myself doing nothing but listening to podcasts all day. That's I right. do, but they're always rock podcasts. Yeah, listen to some rock podcasts like this, bro. It's fucking Jesus Christ. We we might like not talk Rick about Biotto, rock all the time. Bro. I watched Rick Beato had a midnight jam on oh, that jam says hangout session with Nuno the other day. I just watched that. Rick Beato is cool shit. You know, musician. you know who got a good podcast, bro? I was just listening to the other day. Yeah. Fuck you. Let me pull it up. Yeah, I'll tell you right now. Uh, what is it? Uh, it's called. It's called. Uh... You, you, watch, you don't watch Kirby Enthusiasm, right? No. I don't watch, I don't watch that much TV. Six Feet it's Under. It's the week. Undertaker's podcast. Six Feet Under. Six Feet Under. Yeah, it's the Undertaker's podcast. Oh. 
That's the name of the show on HBO. Why? Oh, Scribble wants to know what's your top five, Mark. He says so. So what the fuck is Mark's top five? Oh, do I have a top five underrated bands? Ooh, I don't know, bro. Let's Everybody go to your wall. Let's underrated. go to your wall of shame over here. Who's underrated? Who do you want me to tell you that's worse? Dude, Head PE, underrated, number yeah, one. Here we go. My that's second one. list is fucking... Who else is underrated, bro? Jesus Christ. He's Steve underrated. I, there's nobody fucking on Steve I, bro. What? Living Color. Like, nobody listens to this shit. That's three. Just went to see Eric That's Gales. Three. He blew my mind, bro. Eric Gales. He's underrated. That's like, number four. Like, rock and pop player. One more, Mark. God one more. One more. It, bro. Give us the one more. Fucking Master Ace, the rapper. He put ah. out another fucking great fucking record, bro. There you go, Scribble. That's your five, put bro. Out another concept record, bro. It's Marco Polo's concept. You don't think about number, Marco you Polo? Think, you don't think his number one was gonna be fucking uh was gonna be head PE for Christ's sake? Come on, bro. Underrated as fuck. I knew that would be your Fishbone number one. And bro. Head, Fishbone and head PE should be going into a Bro. We talked about this. Bro, I just With heard, uh, I just heard Jeff from fucking uh Jeff from Lucky Thirteen was telling me he went to a concert, right? The headliner was Cradle of Filth. Right. The second oh, band was VOD. Old band, right? Like the third band thing was a Treyu. And then it was like okay. another fucking like another fucking weird band. It was like four different genres at one show. And I was like, what the who the fuck put that well, bill together? Well, you get that sometimes. It happens. It's crazy, bro. I don't know. <laughs> oh, 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 here we go. What have we got here? We got here uh I keep telling D about Rick Beato. Who the hell is Rick Beato? Rick Beato. Beato. Come on, Beato, D, Rick you gotta Beato. get the Italian down. I'm gonna come over there. I'm gonna teach you this. I call him Rick Beato. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah, we, we look into it. I just hate people who don't spell out the word, David. Rick Beato. 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 Rick Beato. Oh, here we go. Scribble's got right here. Underrated. Coven. Mushroom Head. P.O.D. DZK the rapper and Cage the rapper. Coven does that have any? Did it? No, it's a don't. rock band. It's like a fucking. It's not Randy Coven, the bass player that died. Oh. There's nothing. Fozzie is kind of underrated too. Fozzie is good, man. There's a lot of underrated shit. You can have ten bands that fucking bro. I like Stuck Mojo better. Yeah. I like Stuck Mojo Actually, better than what, Fozzie. Yeah. yeah, it's the same uh, dudes. Funny, isn't oh, it? Here we go. Scott's throwing his out there. Number one, failure. Number two, the garden. Number three, spotlights. Number four, now, now. Number five, what is that? Uh, Baba Dobie? You're welcome. Dude, what the hell is, who the fuck is Baba? Baba what do you? What do you? Why are you fucking saying words I can't pronounce? Baba Doobie. Baba Doobie. There you, you are. I can't fucking speak, dude. Baba Doobie. Baba Doobie. What the fuck? I don't know. I don't know who those bands are. Look. They're underrated, and they fucking... I mean, look at the name, bro. Chance life like look, at any fucking, of them. look at their names. Failure, The Garden, Spotlights, Now Now, and what is that? Beba Doobie, Baba Doobie? What the fuck is it? Be? Be? Beba Doobie. Beba Doobie. This could be like this. Beba Doobie, Beba Doobie. What the fuck kind of name is that? Dude? Oh, oh, here we go. Scribble. Corn, take a look in the mirror. And other side underrated. Oh, right I yet? forgot my old time. I forgot my band. I forgot a band on my list. Fucking Shooty's Groove, bro. Ah. Uh, look up Beba Doobie, Baba Doobie. When I get a chance to look up a retarded name, Baba Doobie, Beba Doobie. You know who just fucking joined Suicidal Tendencies? I do. Jay Weinberg. Well, I told you, you know why? Because he blew up playing the infectious grooves. Yeah. With them, and they went there. They probably just went, bro, you want to be in uh, the tendencies? Look, because you know they've been looking for a fucking drummer since uh, Lombardo's busy. So that's good. Good. Good for him, dude. Look at He's that, playing bro. overseas right now with the infectious grooves. When's that yeah. suicidal start? Probably going to be something here when they're going to play around. If they're, if they're smart, they should play both there. It should be oh, both there. Look bands. at this motherfucking hater. Suicidal are so fucking done with. You got... Yo, you're a fucking West Coast hater. Infectious you... grooves or not. So, so that fucking cool. done with. Yo, Scribble, you should be kicked out of the fucking... Yo, talk about overrated. You should be kicked out of the West Coast for saying that, bro. 
All I wanted was a Pepsi. You just want pay. Yo, you're not allowed to drink Pepsi no more, Scribble. That's it. You're banned. You're banned. You're stuck Save with Coca-Cola. Me your money. I mean, bro, man. But, no, but seriously, though, man, look at that fucking Slipknot. He's over here crying Slipknot, bro. And then, bro, now you're in suicide tendencies, dog. You know, you're in fucking infectious grooves. You're making extra cash over here, but you're in suicidal tendencies. What we got? Uh, suicidal ain't doing a good record for Lucha. Bro, it doesn't matter, bro. Fuck it. They can put out whatever the fuck they want, shitty or good. Yeah, if they got infectious screws, they can play the funk and then go and do that other shit. Two of the they tendencies the... of two, two entities. They should be touring. They should be running around. Is Rocky they got back a lot of shit. No? Is Rocky back I don't, no? I don't know. I haven't seen what's going on over there. But I just know infectious screws is dope. I always like that. That's my world. The best thing Suicidal ever did was inspire body count. That's a damn. My way. Cause my way the highway. Uh. Oh, screw love that, that song. Was, that's cold blooded, bro. That's cold blooded, man. Cold blooded. Look, look what's back up. I made a fire, a little spark. While you're sparking, Mrs. Scott wrote you this. I must have failed my homework assignment. I thought underrated meant people that not many others care about or think are good. Not mega overrated bands like Slipknot. Hey, we're not talking about Slipknot here, bro. We just said that he wasn't Slipknot. And now he's in suicidal tendencies and affects his grooves. He got he lost a big job and got another big job. I you hate know? the list. I hate lists. My number five, I forgot. Should have did my number six. <laughs> but I am going to take my number 10 and move it down tonight. You're going to go like this. And, and I'm like... going to move it my number 11. You're gonna be like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like stop. Bro. You're like, Mark, stop. What's, your, what's your top five bands? You're gonna grab all your CDs off your wall. This. <laughs> throw, them, throw them at the phone. Pick one. Pick anyone you want. You should do a Schindler's list. What the fuck are you doing? A you know what's underrated? List? Fucking African bands like Femi Kuti that get no listen to. When you listen to them, you go, Who Oh my god, everybody I listen to is fucking bullshit. It's an African dude that was tremendous, that's dead, and he has a son that's also is Feli Kuti, African music, 12-piece band up there. They blow your mind. You, you, you want to throw, you throw your CDs. Like, this Scribble, is tremendous. Scribble, Scribble saying Pentagram is, bro, fucking way better. Pentagram is underrated. Uh, that dude with that lead singer. I don't watch bands. I can't watch bands that like, ugly, hawk-nosed, old lead singers. Yeah, it's hilarious. The dude that just survived fucking life. Heroin, Drugs and all bro, that. Oh, in his dude. mom's basement. Yeah, that was nuts. What about Anvil? That was nuts. Anvil's underrated. Yeah, lips. I didn't, lips, like, man. Lips. I never followed them. I never got into them at all. I don't know. Certain bands, I just never, I was like, not even, I didn't even want to listen to them. What the fuck is it? I it's heard like Rhea was Ripley. CD soundtrack shit. I heard Rhea Ripley yeah. can play Amin de Degur, dude. What the fuck is that? What the, what, what, what are you speaking, bro? I don't know that. What language are you speaking, Mr. Scott, bro? You, you what? The, I'm in. Did Gurgi do what? The, uh, Ooh, what the, didgeridoo, dude. Didgeridoo. I you need to go back to fucking quiz ass. I can't bro. fucking. I can't speak. Stop bro. spitting rhymes. Get back to rhyming. Bro. Oh, oh, here, we go, hold on. here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mr. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> What are you? Why are you sending me stuff I can't pronounce, man? I sound like a fucking retard. Uh, fucking YouTube text to speech shit is fucking ridiculous. I said she can play a mean didgeridoo. A mean didgeridoo. What the fuck is? Oh man, you trying to get us canceled with that? I think I need to cut it out for now, man. Everything I say, it sounds like I'm fucking like Shaquille O'Neal or something. I'm just, I can't, I just can't pronounce what the hell you're fucking writing, bro. I, I need to go back to school. No, it's not your fault, man. I, I mean, didgeridoo, I mean, who can do, who can get past that? Now, now I gotta look up what a mean didgeridoo is, because if it's what I think it is. Uh, it's just a didgeridoo. It's that long stick that you blow into. It's just like. Yeah. Oh, dude, why am I thinking. The Minkibus plays that thing. Why am I thinking, why am I thinking schlong? You're always thinking well, swamp. <laughs> oh my lord, man! I'll let you go, dude. I'll cut my texting out, man. It's getting awful. Right. I'm not even high either. Peace. Yes. Scribbles back. Fuck, man. You getting on? Huh? 
You getting on? MC nah, Squibber. I just wanna. Oh, wondering you. why I keep, I keep getting hung up on, bro. I get, I'm getting other phone calls in here, man, but you're not hearing them. Oh, word. You know what's underrated band? Who? Blood Fart. Is that a real band or you're fucking with me like Didgeridoo? <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, Bitch Bigelow? Bitch Bigelow? Who the fuck is that? Bitch Bitch Piglet. Who is that? <laughs> what about Slit Dick Slit? Bro, now you, I'm I'm put I'm putting you on fucking mute, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> those are those are Limp those were Limp Bizkit names before they named themselves Limp Bizkit. Oh Jesus, here we go. I'm putting you back on mute, man. Jesus, man, Joe. Oh. Fucking scribble, head dude. Head bees, head bees. There's another reason head bees bang Limp Bizkit bang. He's gonna say something stupid, bro. Another point. And there you go. I'm gonna, you than, I'm gonna tell you who's better than head P. That's underrated. P O D. P O D. So you're saying if there was a versus head P versus P.O.D. POD it'd be P.O.D. Hold their own? It'd be P.O.D. all day, bro. You think that four piece band? Bro, see, head- my band's different. I don't I don't have the I it's tough because I was yeah. like, oh, I love the OG guys would would take any and that's like they're all right. Ali to me. All right, we'll but go. But with like the now cool, I'm like but yeah, I was like, now I understand. I'm like, you know what? They they don't have a DJ, do they? This head- band? POD, no. Right. But, 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 P-O, but right POD, POD went platinum. That's a, that's a good matchup. They went platinum. What, with Southtown? I think with the, with the album Satellite and uh, yeah, I did yeah, with two I of them. That. Yeah. I think they went platinum no, with two I albums. That. That was good. And uh, I bought that shit. I have like five POD records. Your, your, boy, your boys never went platinum. And maybe went gold. But, was some, but, but you know what? Every time I bought one of those records, I was, I was, it was a lot of, it wasn't like a head P record. It was a little bit of, it got slow and had to, you know, it was selective. Put it that way. Those records were selective. Well, you, even said, you even said, bro, you like, like you're saying, slight, like you can't listen to all the tracks, bro. You're even saying like, you got, you, 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 you pick your battles, bro, on those albums, bro. You know, it's like, eh, this one's good. This one's bad. The older good. I get, some of these kids are yelling about something. I'm like, really? So I just was a little bit of that separation. I always didn't feel somebody's fucking. Well, but but um, hey. but hey, PE though, you said you you feel like that sometimes on their albums, like you're like, yeah, it's a hit and miss. Lately, those first, you know, they wanted those for those first four or five records, six records, they were rolling. Nah. Lately, was the one he threw one out that was kind of like all kinds of shit where I didn't even buy it. Where it's like, oh, all right, that's what it is. I got wait for the next one. <laughs> and then yeah, it got selective. But when you see him as a whole live. It's yeah. worth it because the collective and then those those last three albums, those six or seven songs in there, it works out. So you're, you know wait, so, wait, so you're, you're telling me, bro, that, that they're um, – well, actually, you know what, man? P.O.D.'s not even OG, bro. I think P.O.D. – I think their drummer left. So, I mean, even there, they got a no, new drummer. I think the drummer – Really? I think, Wolf, I think Wolf left. Well, let me see. Uh, it's my man. It's Wolf Bernardo. That's a dude I share a last name with. That's the only guy I share a last name with in this industry or sports or anything. Hold on. That's so – I, think, I, think I can't he's... believe that. He's not in P.O.D.? Wow. I think I think he left, bro. Let me see. Hold on. Let so, me see, the man. other guy – did the other guy come back? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mark Marcos Curio. Yeah, he came back. The guitarist? Mm-hmm. All right, you got a, uh... yeah. Woof is gone. Not happy. Woof, uh, Woof was there from ninety two to two thousand to twenty twenty one. He left in twenty twenty one. They got yeah, uh, Alex Alex years. Lopez is their touring drummer. Oh, that sucks, dude. Why did that happen? You got the original fucking guys. Yeah, he's gone, man. That's it, bro. Let me see who's Wolves. You know who's an underrated band? You got me thinking now. Fucking Jimmy's Chicken Shack. Oh, Jesus Christ. Tremendous fucking tunes, bro. Very oh, good he's, fucking he's, In 2020, Bernardo formed a project called, um, I think it's Bella and the Dragon, alongside members of Flyleaf. Yeah, 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 I mean, true. maybe he's still playing with Stillwell, bro. From uh, He was playing in... Uh, He's playing in uh, uh, um, Feely's band, Stillwell. He was doing look him up. Mexican, Wolf, or is he Italian? Mark Bonato? Uh, he's Mexican, dude, Wolf. 100%. Wolf. 
Wolf is Wolf is Mexican, bro. Right. Got to get on that show where they break down your heritage. See where. I already got mine. Made. I got. I had mine broken down, bro. It's it's more or less. Uh, it's a lot. No, of it's, all, it's all European, you know. But it's more or less. Uh, Irish, I can go back a hundred. Polish, Russian, German. A hundred. A hundred. I can go back a hundred twenty years, and that's it. And then from there, somebody'd have to jump in. I think. Well, like I me think... and my mother just went to see a grave of my. Like grandmother's sister, ever, somebody where it's like eighteen sixty four to you know. Did you ever do? You never did the ancestry dot com on that shit. You spit in the no. fucking thing, no. No. My shit goes back to the eighteen hundreds, bro. Cool. I still got family over in Europe. It's weird. I got I got uh somebody in Australia, somebody in Ireland, and uh, fucking I think somebody in England. Like second, third cousins. I know where everybody's from. So Scottish. You know, I'm a little bit of Scottish, a little bit of French Canadian, a lot of Italian. French Canadian. Ha ha ha. Wee wee wee. Irish. Yeah, my great grandfather was. They were they were from Canada, Nova Scotia. Everyone. But then my father's father's Italian. Like then they were all from Italy people. You know, there's some people out Boy, there, bro. There's like a one percent. Uh, a one percent thing in their blood where it's uh, it's it's untraceable on this planet. Certain few people have that, bro. Where it's like you got a a one a thing of DNA on you, bro, in, inside whatever like one percent DNA that that is unheard of in this planet, unknown. Okay, Dave. I know Science one person guy. that got it. I know one person that's, that that said they got it. So I don't know, man. I don't know if he's telling the truth or what, man, but. I'm just saying, bro. Uh, I don't know. I'm just saying, man. This person live on Krypton? Maybe. Maybe. What do you think? Oh, oh you don't watch movies, though, man. You ain't watching that new... Uh, you ain't watching Godzilla fucking... The Godzilla mm-hmm. Kong on the 20s to 20... That looked cool. That little baby Kong and anime. Is that a little animated? They ain't yeah, having real... of course. Well, gorillas do movies yet? Shit. They haven't well, grown in just... society. Gorillas can't fuck? fucking act. Hold on. What the... Who's this? Who's this? Who's calling here? What's up, Scribble? What happened? <laughs> Not that I was just disconnecting my phone from the truck. Oh, I was about to say, man. I thought you heard us talking about Godzilla and Kong, and you were going to get in on this. You know what? When Scribble calls, you, he, he says the truck, the word truck, you should play. Dun, 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 dun. From Sanford and Son. You need that Sanford and Son music to kick in. Play them on mute. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. But yeah, no. So yeah, that's all. It's all CGI, man. But that shit looks. I've been watching that Godzilla, bro, since the first Godzilla came out over here. It's oh, good. Uh, man. The Godzilla when we were little, or that Japanese? No, movie? no, no, no. This is the one oh, from like. I grew up watching this, those this one. This one. Yeah, I saw that. But I'm saying this is a whole different universe. You got the Godzilla, then you had uh, then you had fucking uh, you had Godzilla fucking King of Monsters, then you had Kong Skull Island, then you had Godzilla versus Kong, and now you got this one. It's good. And what happens when you keep up with them and you put all the movies together in the DVD collection on your wall? Nah, like, bro, Kong, Kong went like this and squashed Samuel L. Jackson, bro. Yeah, movie. I watched Charles Grodin get crushed in 1977. It's better than the 70s one, I'm telling you, bro. Way better. What, the one with the World Trade Center? I mean, that oh, that cool. one sucked, dude. No, you talking about the one in the 90s like or whatever, or 2000s? No, that was 1976, man. No, I think you're talking about... You know, you you're talking about the, no, you're, I tell you, you're talking about the, uh, the Godzilla one where he was like a fucking lizard. No, I, you know what? I didn't... I've seen a couple of the Godzilla... You know, what is it? The one where they did the movie with Puffy Song and Jimmy yeah, Page? Yeah, that was fucking... The dark gosh. one where everything, everything was like there was no sun in the movie? No, that was garbage, yeah, it was like dark, bro. right? That was uh, who was in that movie? Damn, I, that was the first. That was the first kickoff, right? Of those stupid. Well, I don't know. Why? Why? Why do I keep thinking Shia LaBeouf? It wasn't Shia LaBeouf. It was another dude nice. who reminds well, me of him. Yo. That's funny though. I can't. Nah, I that, keep that, up movie, with those. that movie sucks. I watch them here and there. I watch the Planet you, of the you Age. Got, if, dude, did you see the new one coming out, bro? The 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 con. Well, not conquest of the Planet of the Age. That's seventy shit. Fucking um! Did you watch those those uh, those last three Planet of the Apes that they came out with? 
I believe they did, yeah. They got a new one, bro. Fucking, uh, I think it's called Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes or some shit. It's supposed to be like 40, 50 years in the future or some shit. Oh, wow. Bro, it's fucking, it looks good, man. It looks fucking. So when they're going to show like the apes and then you're like, oh my God, like they're in the leagues. Like then, then like there's a scene where like they're in the baseball leagues and they're playing fo- like. Oh, that was the one like, with Mark Wahlberg. They're, they're, like they were all doing everything, like tennis. I want to see that. I want to see what it's like. That was this one right now. This one doing coming out. Everything that we all do, sports this, wise. This one is, coming out is a uh, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, bro. It looks really fucking good, man. It looks really good. Oh, here we go. What? Script, well, screw it. What do y'all think about what's going on with Diddy? What was going on with Diddy, bro? Besides uh being gay and banging dudes. You know. I don't know. I have nothing to say. I've. What's he doing? What's going on with him? I haven't heard anything. All, I don't know. Doesn't everybody, all religious people go, you get what's coming again <laughs> in the end. I mean, I mean, I'll tell you this, though. I really think it's messed up what he did, uh, basically stealing fucking, uh, stealing um, big, um, what's his name, bro? Fucking, uh, well, I was going to say big pun. Fucking um, Biggie Smalls, bro, where he basically had him sign a fucking bullshit contract and you know, was taking almost all his money. Well, we got new lawsuits, uh, dude, saying he had gay sex parties with minors to black yeah, people. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Ooh. There's not. That's all stuff that uh, Bro, uh, Jaguar I, was talking about two, five years ago. You don't play around stuff. with that, dude. Jaguar, right? We're talking about this years ago. Him sucking Christopher Williams' dick or whatever, or vice versa, or whatever that was. Oh, so, you talking about when he was on? He had that dude under the table. And he told the lady, get out. Yeah, exactly. Diddy's the new Epstein. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, if it's true, you better go down with the ship. But, I mean, what do you, what are they going to really do, bro? I, I mean, isn't there, a statute, isn't there a statute of limitation to certain things? You know? or you get, If you don't got any of the kids Plus, coming forward. And then there's the chick I saw on Facebook saying the story of remember when she, Shine got caught for that. That was Puffy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He took the he took the hit. He took yeah, the this hit. lady. They, this lady got paid out and all that. But what is this hashtag? Yeah. Diddy <laughs> didn't wait. Diddy, what the fuck is that? Diddy didn't hang himself. Oh, Diddy didn't hang himself. Oh, bro, when we gonna have one of them? When is somebody gonna actually just like? That's that happens in small portion of, of a world, but. Like a celebrity totally kills himself on social media. You think we'll have to be driven they, to that well, one day? Well, they, well, there've been people on live Facebook. People, and, and people, people, but they're like it, but... young kids or accidents. Yes, yeah, where somebody sets out a message and goes, you know, like it, like here's mine, Mark Bonato playing Dustin Diamond, where it was like, you know, an old man Dustin Diamond, like oh, like you know, like getting crazy with a gun and they like yeah. did something stuff on social media, like. Oh, and he did one of the speech characters. It's like a funny I, and went nuts and I, I shot him. <laughs> I tell you this, Mark. It's probably coming. It, it is. It's, it's gonna be somebody frustrated like that's like I can't and it's misconstrued coming, and uh, that is, that's the la- that's the last thing that that a celebrity could do is kill yourself on on live. Oh, well, I was like somebody go, come here, and they were like, you made me do this, and goes boom. <laughs> right in front of him, like, ah. bro. See this? I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, like you got people that are gonna start. Try, there's things that that you we can't watch, but this happened, and I'm like, yesterday it happened, and it was on social media, and I go, what? Yeah. And then I hear this thing happen, I'm like, holy shit! I think the dude killed this girl on social media. Who? Oh god, there's a couple, you know, a couple of those. Things that got rough. Yeah, that's fucking nuts, bro. Social media is supposed to be fun and social. Exactly. It's supposed to be, then. Yeah, the whole, it's supposed to be, you know, now social. It's like half not and now check it's... this out. The moon is local. The sun's local. You can walk <laughs> there. <laughs> it's almost like K and Peel when it's like, uh, huh? how was got... the game? And he's like, it's great, kids. You could do anything you want. And he's like, you can go on a building and jump off the building and fly. What we got here? I'm, I'm not gonna blow. I'm not gonna blow your spot up, D. But I know what time. Yeah, right now it's my birthday. I'm 47 years old. I'll blow uh, your spot up, bro. 
Here we go. Uh, uh, oh. What's up with that? You're gonna call it? Oh, wait, well, I don't know what. <laughs> no, where is it? Oh, he Smoke. said. Surprise. <laughs> There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's where all the buttons are looking for that shit. 47, bro. 47 years old today, bro. What's the date? My mother's birthday's in a couple days. Oh, yeah. I got the happy birthday from the wife. Ah, cool. You know what, though? I'll tell you this. I don't know, bro, because I was born. I was born. In, I was. I think I was born at night. I was born at 8 o'clock at night. So I, don't know, so I was still in the womb at this time. What's 47 years? What year were you born? 1971? 77, bro. 77. Yeah, that was a good idea, dude. I was seven years old. It was in fucking something great. First, second grade. Well, the scribbles, uh, it'll happen on X. There's so much foul shit on there. I stopped using it because uh, anytime I go on and I immediately see beatings into abs. Yeah, I stay away from all that stuff on X, man. All that crazy What's stuff. That? A lot, What's X? Uh, Twitter, bro. It's it's unfiltered. Uh, uh, Twitter's unfiltered sorry. now, man. So you, sorry, see, you see everything on there, dude. It's It's crazy, man. You see everything on Twitter, dude. It's it's in it's 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 oof. You you wanna have a bad day? Go on Twitter, bro. <laughs> I don't have Twitter. I don't like Twitter. I don't, I don't even have the Instagram. I don't do any of that shit. Bro. I only got look, we're live Too on Twitter right on. now. We're live on Twitter, we're live on uh Twitch, we're live on Facebook, and we're live on, on I run a fantasy fucking YouTube. basketball league. I can't I don't have time for any of that shit. Yeah, Scribble tried to get you on the Instagrams, and you were like, ah, you went like this, yeah. X. You blocked it out. Guess what I did the other day? What? I fucking played my bass, dude. It fucking really? Dude. They have to TM How's your fingers, How's your I fingers feel? Bass. Not, I have my wrist as a problem, but if I sit down nah. and I lock in, I'm good. Yeah, standing up, I was like, oh, that don't feel right. Oh, this, yeah. It's like, oh, I'm going to have to put a wristband on and use a pick. You got, but yeah. when I sat down, I was good. I was good to go. I was like, "Ooh, oh, oh that shit was." I had to tune it up. That shit was fucking slap high the, as fuck. Slap the bass, man. Yeah, he's telling you to slap yeah, the bass. Yeah, I gotta stop slapping. Is that your bass right back there? there? That's your bass right back there. It is. Uh, it's over there. Now, that's I say the this, bro. That's good one. From 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 uh, f- visually seeing it, Mark's a badass bass player, bro. He's real funky. Mark can play, bro. Yeah, I miss not... it. I miss it. Did you ever see me play? Yeah, yeah, I used to see you jamming the fuck. fucking jamming pearl. You would be in the room like, like we'd be like, "Yo, Mark, we're leaving." Ah, right, motherfucker, just put the money over there. Blue, 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 blue. Was that with that band? You would jam with somebody, bro. The young uh, people, cats. yeah, yeah, I remember that. That's that's my son. That was my oh, fuck. I told you, that's the kids in the college. That was Scrib- fun, bro. Scribble said, "Come on, Mark, pick up, pick it up, and play some Megadeth." No, no, any fucking Megadeth. Probably no fucking band. Up, up. That's it. You know? What are they? Are they tuned down? Is that a tuned down band? No, Megadeth, that thing is East E flat or E standard. I don't. I wouldn't picture Dave Mustaine tuning anything but standard tuning. You know, like Metallica. And I was playing to this very small amp yesterday. I was like, oh yeah, this is good for just keeping it low. I don't want to rip it and break this thing. Well, no, well, it's, so, it's, I mean, because once you start more. playing, you're like, yo, you want to stack next to you. You know, you want to, you know, you want to feel that shit. I'm used to the studio. I was like, oh my god, I gotta stop being an idiot. I was like, I to put the headphones on is the best thing. To just put the headphones on. I yeah. have that little device. You put in, you plug it in, and then you hook your headphone up to it. Yeah, that thing's cool. I have the rock. We have the bass rockman from 1980 fucking nine. But did you ever? Like, did, did you did you ever yeah. get the game uh, Rocksmith? Where no, it, te- it teaches you songs like it's guitar and bass, where it'll teach you how to play the fucking song and shit, and it's the game. Really? They made they made it for okay. uh, they made it, it's called Rocksmith, bro. It teaches you how to play a bunch of different songs, and you could download songs you want to learn and shit. No, I remember though that that game you could play on PlayStation to make music. I forgot what that was. You make Ooh. beats and shit. Oh, you're talking about fucking um, MTV Music Generator. It's a little underrated because nobody really plays like that, dude. The opposite of uh, the, I guess the other dudes playing crazily is the dude from Mudvayne. Oh, yeah. There's similar styles with different uh, tones and, you know, the he other dude play, plays he a lot play more field, he, he can play fieldy stuff. He, 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 um, he went on tour with Corn when fieldy left. He did a bunch stuff of stuff like that. Oh, bands that have that. What's your McCall's son did, did it too? Uh, what's his name, bro, from Metallica? I watched this Indian girl just blew my mind the other day on a on a thing. 
I was actually couldn't even handle what I was watching. I was I felt like throwing the phone going, Oh my god, like too much? It was tremendous. Yeah. Too good. She's hot. But you have like, no, you, you noticed, you noticed though the ones that are too good, they can't write their own fucking riffs to save their life. And they're never, in, they're never in a band. They're never in a band. Description of them. Oh, I just checked. She's amazing. Mahani Day, bro. Holy shit. Tell me if she could write fucking da 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 She's like an Esperanza Spalding. Of course they can, but they didn't. What? Nobody could know. No, man. I'm telling you. You got to be gifted, bro, to write these songs, man. No, to me, I would have went with more like... The other one. Before me is me. The guitar beginning in the... I like the guitar in the beginning of that. That little... That little oh, Anthony about, little that Revin. <laughs> that little thing. Before he goes. Oh, there's, yeah. little, there's a little guitar riff, a little cool little thing, right? Leading up to before he goes, hello, me. It's me again. How underrated do, do you think Dave Poland is? I, that's is not, that's, I didn't listen to Megadeth in that era. He's so the OG. I jumped in right on, right before, like jumping in, getting interested, oh, and Marty the videos Friedman. were on, and then and Friedman. then Marty Friedman came on, right? He's the most That's overrated, bro. From what I heard, he's the most overrated, Marty Friedman. There's no impossible way because because they said he said he had a hard time letting Chris Poland shit. He probably did. He's probably dude playing all that other shit though. But he, how could he be hard to play? He's a schooled musical player. Yeah, you think that's hard to. Well, it might be hard to copy somebody's, I don't know, home playing. Is he like that? Or is Chris Poland? Or, 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 Chris or, Poland was basically or, playing with playing. Chris Poland was basically playing what Dave Mustaine Dave. told him to play. Gotcha. Sweating bullets, it's called, Mark. Yeah, Sweating yeah. bullets. Yeah, the beginning. Yeah. That little harmonizer. Little... Sweating bullets. <laughs> That's a great album, dude. That's the only album That's I like awesome. from Megadeth. That's the only one I like from Megadeth, dude. Fucking, fucking hella, dude. That was it's their black hell. album, bro. That was their black album. No, I like Hangar 18. I think the mystique of Hangar 18 is like, to me, that's his, like, his one or something. To me, Hangar oh, 18 yeah, no, no. Hangar me. 18 is his one. That's his one. That is his right? one, Right? Yeah. yeah, bro. That's that, that shit. When I first heard that, I, you know, sitting there melting on my couch, like the hundred headbangers ball going, like, holy shit, this is great. It just, it just this seems impossible. Great. It just seems impossible that it came out of one person. That and season, uh, that and season of this, the two videos, I was like, this is great. Oh, sl- it's just like, oh my God. I was like, Bro. I never watched play. I was like, oh, slay videos on. Let me see. And I was just like, this is fucking that, good. That, this is a movie. Close your eyes, look oh, dude. Dude. Well, close your eyes, look deep in your soul, step out. There's a couple of those videos where you're like, your mind go. Man. And you're like, oh shit. But did you but and then but there's some up. fun ones that get you a different feel that are like not as dark. But, but how, like, do you, ah. how do you feel about how do you feel about it though when you hear Kerry King say he played the fucking bass on all that shit? That's wild, right? You know, he's like Tom Murray never played. I played the bass on the on the fucking recordings, so it's like, well, like in good faith, like ah, he was over there drinking. I just fucking did it. Like they didn't give a shit. Was it one of them or just play it, man? Come on, we gotta go. I think he was. <laughs> like, I think he was probably fucking better, and he could do it faster. Tommy, I'm gonna do it. I'll do it right now. You just oh, want to play on. that one too? Hold on. What up, Scribs? What up, yo? I, I 100% believe Kerry King when he says that shit. Hey, hey, why is he going to lie, dude? Come on. Like, seriously. He's going back on tour with Slayer. Why is he going to fucking start I mean, I mean, ripping it's, it's just It's just knowing that Tom Mariah never wrote a single lyric in that band, and, you know, he's not an amazing... You can barely fucking hear the bass throughout all of Slayer's career. You can yeah no live no live I I don't care what you fucking say even on, even even on the studio album after Stop of Heaven you know tell me a baseline 
No, they did. They did pull a Metallica fucking Injustice for All, bro, and just lowered the bass <laughs> down. Bro. They you did can, that shit. You can you can hear it here and there, but it's not doing anything spectacular. But it just goes along with the drums, you know. Yeah, he's not he's not busting he's not busting out any fucking root notes and shit like that. I don't th- I don't think any bass player ever said uh, Tom Mariah is my favorite bass player. Come on, Mark. You're a bass player. What do you yeah. think about Tom Mariah when you see him playing live? Yeah, I don't. I believe it's scribble. Nobody. <laughs> this is young metal <laughs> head at the time, the, but where's the bass amp live? I don't see any bass amps. <laughs> yeah, so I just see guitar amps, amps, dude. Amps. It's supposed to be there. I've never somewhere. seen a bass amp live on Switch Slayer, bro. In any fucking show I ever watched. Never. I will say, you know, you know, a thing about YouTube I love is that people break down like the bass tracks and they'll just put them with the drums yeah. so you can really mm-hmm. hear it. And in the 80s, Tom Mariah was fucking killing it, you know. Oh, you talking about but, the, uh, the first three albums? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I, you know, I'm not a huge fan of Rain and Blood. I think it's highly overrated, although I respect it, I guess. I think Stop of Heaven's way better. Yes, me too. But, uh... I was listening to some of the bass tracks from Rain and Blood, and I'm just like, holy fuck, this dude. I mean, it's it's kind of sloppy, yeah. but it's Slayer sloppy. So well, it's no, like, uh, it just wait, wait, wait. Good. If it's sloppy, that's Kerry King. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I totally believe Kerry King when he says that shit. But what's crazy is that, now his solo band is coming out and saying, like, we had no idea this player thing was going to happen. I don't think he could tell them, though, man. It's like, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, that's different business. You know, different I mean, business. Let it go. Different you know what I mean, I mean all, the, all those dudes are professional. They wouldn't have gone out and said anything. I mean, just let the boys you, know. You, you never know, you bro. Know I mean? you, you never know if TMZ slipping you a C note. <laughs> Although Kirk Hammett said, Kirk Hammett just came out and said that. Uh, the guitar solo on that play, on that Kerry King song is the best solo of the year, and I'm thinking, well, that really shows where Kirk Hammett's been at, where his fucking head is at. Exactly, because it sounds like every other fucking solo he did in fucking Just Slayer. Sloppy bullshit guitar solos that he's been doing for the last twenty fucking years. He should have he should have fucking uh, resurrected Hanneman, bro, and said, "Yo, can you write me a solo?" Yeah, for real, dude. You get a fucking uh, Hanneman fanatic in there. To fucking write some shit, you know no, what I mean? No. I, I bet a, I, I bet a Hanneman fanatic can write some better shit than Gary. I, I, I bet you Gary Holt would have wrote something better. <laughs> of course, dude. Did you see that po- that picture I posted of Gary Holt and Dave Mustaine? No. And it has uh, Wayne and Garth on top, and then glasses, and it shows Gary Holt and Dave Mustaine. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's so fucking. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Gary Holt looks like you're fucking like like he I. He doesn't look rock stars no more, bro. He looks like a dad who goes, you know, to to school and you know picks up his son and shit like that. I was, I was never. Did were you guys in the Testament? No, Mark, you in the Testament? A little bit, yeah. Just heard them on the radio the other day. You know what it is about them? I never liked that, especially early on before they kind of found their own sound. But it took like a few fucking albums. Those first three, four Testament albums sound just like Metallica. Yeah, they were kind of mimicking. They were mimicking them. Everybody was well, like, "Well, look, 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 at when, look at when Metallica came out with that love song, bro. Nothing else matters." They came out with a fucking song, and they're in the pool hall and shit. You know, <laughs> these chills, bro. <laughs> I'm not against ballads, like uh, and, and I think nothing else matters. matters a ballad. Yeah, Anthrax <laughs> never wrote a ballad. Yeah, they did. No, they didn't. What ballad? Odd volume eight. There's a ballad up there. Oh, you talking about the newest shit? No, no. It's from like '98. The Threat Is Real album. I that never, album has a ballad on it. I've never heard it, but I gotta go back because I was giving Anthrax mad props. Yeah, there's a there's no. The thing is, the thing is, they never took it to testament level where they're like, let's just shoot this as a single and do a music video for it. Let's get a chick. Let's get some hot chicks in here and play pool. It's overkill over testament all day. Yo, you heard, his, you, heard his play, you heard us playing fucking bass for overkill, bro? For their new tour? Yep. 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 Dave Elson, bro, is playing bass for overkill's oh, new wow. tour. Now that that's something I can get behind. Can you get behind him that's saying cool. that he always loved Metallica? No, he's a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I always loved Metallica. I was never down with the beef. 
Really? Yeah. Li- yeah. Oh, you, th- dude. That's so. F- that's like uh, uh, only you will get this. Uh, that's like when uh, Twisted came out and said we never had anything to do with the Eminem beef, and they're all over the beef songs, acting oh, like Eminem. Hundred percent, bro. Hundred fucking percent, man. <laughs> it's like we weren't on those tracks, dude. That's that's totally you, Monoxide. That's dude, I totally can I can send you so many I can send you so many clips over the years of David Ellison talking so much crazy shit about Metallica. And now, and now he's also saying now too. He's I think I fucking heard him say fucking um. He, he's down. He, he's he wants to be in Megadeth because he says he's a he's he's a part of Megadeth. He's like he's like I helped create that band. I should be in it. I I I I only partly agree because he was in it for so long. Yeah. You know what I mean? But he never. Uh, the first three Megadeth albums were written before Megadeth was formed. So, you know what I so mean? Like so, they've already had all that shit. So he's so he's a good Kurt Hammett. He's yeah. gonna be in his band again. What's up, Mark? He's gonna be in that band again. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. he will. What in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Wait, wait. When Marty Something. comes back. Well, no, he, dude, he had a chance to get Marty now, and I heard Marty was too much money, bro. That's why they went with a new guy. You're young, yeah, D. When you're like 53, that's this shit will happen. It's seeing all these stupid things happen every fucking six years. You're like, oh, it's been that amount of time. Oh, yeah. It happens. Marty will be back. Marty will be back. Dude, Marty, dude why did he get this new guy? He didn't, he didn't get Marty. Well, this new guy is doing the tour. This, this new guy, he never said this new guy's playing on the next album. True, true. Okay, touche, you know? touche. And he, he, Kiko left. He didn't get fired or anything, so he suggested this guy to finish off the tours. Oh. And they're doing another tour. They're doing yeah. another tour this year, so he'll be on that tour. But next year, when they're in the studio, I mean, dude, they're already teasing it on Instagram and shit. Like, posted all kinds of Marty shit. Now, do you think Megadeth is overrated? <laughs> How dare you ask me that question? I'm just saying, bro. I'm starting <laughs> to think that they're just overrated, bro. I mean, they only got like a couple good jams. No, I think they're perfectly rated. Metallica, in the metal Metallica has a shit ton of jams, dude. Uh, you're just trying to trigger me, and it's not going to work, motherfucker. I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> Metallica has fucking four great albums. Does Megadeth have four great albums? Yeah, thanks to Dave Mustaine. <laughs> oh, my Lord, man. Dude, the Black Album sold more albums than any of the Metallica albums, and that was theirs. So what? That was theirs. So what? The Backstreet, the Backstreet Boys sold more than Nas. What's your point? Oh, my Lord. You will one day bow down to the Metallica, my friend. Think, you will. I think. I think. I think Megadeth <laughs> in the last thirteen years is overrated. Yeah. But the last great album was like oh seven. No, the last great. Al- the last after, great that, al- a- after that, it's all downhill to me. The last great album was the one with fucking da da da. Da, da, da. That was it, bro. You, bet, dude, you never heard euthanasia, euthanasia is fucking. Euthanasia no, you're is saying bang. countdown. It's okay. It could you, be. It you, could be banger, but it's not countdown. It you say no, countdown is their. You it. say countdown is their black album. Yep. That's actually false. Euthanasia is their black album because they brought everything down to the same tempo. There, it's not metal well, at I'm all. Talking about, I'm like, talking about sales wise. Train of consequence. Yeah, okay. that was the I saw that sales tour. Wise, sales wise, countdown sold the most for them. That put them on. That, I saw that, that tour. I went happen. to see them on that tour. I saw them. Yeah. Those yeah. As far as sales, as far as sales, that's their black album. Sure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I, I'm not saying. It's because of the way it sounds. That the sales wise, that's what put them on the map, bro. Was that album? Even though, even though the black album fucking outshined them and he got pissed, but well, whatever. Peace sells really put them on the map. That's their first platinum album. Uh, yeah, they fucking had that that album went up to their nose, bro. But you know what? You as a, it hurts me as a Megadeth fan to say this, but Megadeth actually, you know, yeah, he he got kicked out of the band and had to reform all new, but they actually got a head start because they were all over fucking MTV, bro. In the eighties, yeah. Megadeth were all over MTV. Metallica wouldn't even make a video about. until eighty nine. Dude, MTV news thing was boom, ba boom, 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 boom. Yeah, they did Jack a Mustaine baseline, dog. It was either yeah, that or that. Them on that. They, play, they, they played it just enough so they didn't have to pay them. That's <laughs> fucked up, bro. That That's fucked up, man. He should yeah, sue them. 
Well, no, they did illegally. They played enough so where they didn't have to pay. That shit does still. Yeah, I mean, I could do that on YouTube, bro, and it's, sometimes it doesn't even fly, bro. You play like, <laughs> oh, I played only five seconds of that motherfucker, bro. Yeah. No. It's just still yeah, stupid, was, bro. That, that's yeah, fucking... MTV News. That or that Stone Temple. Oh, dun, 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 dun. You know what's fucked up, though, man? Is I knew that I always thought of MT, MTV News Loud and fly. not, not Megadeth. I was like, oh, man, MTV News. And I'm like, why is he playing MTV News beat? And I'm like, oh, fuck, he wrote that. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's fucked up, man. Even that, you think of that, you think of David Ellison, right? Yeah, Mustaine wrote that. That's the sad part about it, though, man. Mustaine wrote it, and I always thought I, I always thought Dave wrote it. Yeah. And what do you think so, about what do you think about? What, all, all right, I'll let you go, sucker. That's good. All right, but, 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 but bro, and Mark can attest to this. Euthanasia is might even be better. Yeah. Great record. Saw them. I don't know. I feel like I went to see Megadeth at Roseland and like the Dixie Dregs open up. I got. I got to check. I feel like that was one of the oddest. You know, you got the stuff. Things I've ever seen. This shit happens like that. You know, you got the stuff. Mm-hmm. Actually, Somebody. you can just Google that shit, bro. And fucking, and you'll fucking. Yeah, I feel oh, it's something. I mean, it was an odd. I feel like it was white zombie. I think I saw him twice. It might have been zombie because they were popping at that time too. A young zombie. Oh, I, one, I know one of those shows that Rose under, under, Underrated white zombie. Yeah, not Rob Zombie, white zombie. White Early zombie power zombie. man before the uniforms. Oh, dude, stop it with that, bro. Before stop it with the that. uniforms. Power man kicked ass, bro, once they got the no. 5,000 uniforms. Once the uniforms came in, it was a wrap. They got rid of the percussion player, they added a guitar player, and got some uniforms. Oh, there we go. Little secret did they, is. Did uh, they ever do a? Did they ever do a song with Rob? No. And Spider never liked talking about him either because I asked Spider. I said, "Yo, Rob Zombie, your brother's like, yeah." I'm like, "All right, I'm not asking nothing more about Rob Zombie." Scribble, Dad. answer this one. Little secret is the drummer from Megadeth uh, messaged me and gave me the scoop of his famous UFO sighting and asked me to expose it to the world for him before he died. But don't tell anyone. What? Yeah, Nick Benzo was a, uh, a UFO. Super Nick. Really? Yeah, he, I like he, 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 he came up with the concept of Hangar 18. Holy shit. I like Nick Benzo. If that's uh, true. I, I, I was like, Nick, Nick's men that drove those fucking albums. Wait, bro. what did he die from, though, man? He died on stage. What? He had like a heart attack. He had, a, he, had, he, had a, he had a bad drug problem. Oh, fuck, man. Thought, so he's the a same what? as Garth. A what bro, problem? Right? What'd you say? You know what problem? I said Nick, Men- Nick Menza didn't live too far from me. I actually uh, knew a kid in high school who took drum lessons from him, and he had he this nightmare story. While play- he died while playing, right? Yeah. And, the dude, he was only, like, 52. He was 52, and he yeah, died. On yeah, Nick Menza, yeah. He was just getting a new band kicking or something, right? Well, they, were, they were talking about bringing back the OG fucking lineup, bro, before he passed, right? Yeah. Yep. That sucks. He was nasty, bro. And Dude, he, he, was, he, he, was, like, walked in. he was actually <laughs> back in Megadeth for like two days, and then uh, Dave found him high as hell on meth and said, uh, yeah, you're out. That was about 04, 05. Oh, shit. Wow. Yeah. Jesus, man. He was cold as fun on that fucking documentary. That sucks. Fucking drugs, man. <laughs> All these drugs. They're hell of a drugs. Hell of a drug is drug. Fucking roll on this fucking. Well, Mark, Mark, Mark's, here, Mark's fucking smoking big fucking. Uh, that cannon was big good. Big fucking, fucking blunts over here, bro, with fucking glass yeah, tips. That was good. You get that once in a while. You don't. But you don't look don't high though, man. You don't look stoned. No, I'm nice. Uh, you don't look stoned, it's, bro. It's, Seriously, it's you're like. Anymore. Yeah, but you're regular. You, you always sound that's, like this. That's, that's how you know yeah, you're fucking well, with a real stone. I guess. Yeah, I'm nice. I'm telling you, I'm good. We tell you we're good. You gotta listen. I mean, but you don't act like you're high though. Like, like what like am I supposed to people. do? Like, I don't know. out and go look and take my sneaker and go. All right, here you go. Here's the scene. Oh my god! What is this? He's Dave, what is this? He's smacking his head with his. Oh my god! 
I'm so yeah, wasted. This, 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 this is called oh my being God. grown man. Yeah. Grown man high. Nobody knows you're yeah. high. I can't like, be grown man dude, high. That's, dude. You look, yo, fellas. You, he's right because I can't go to quick check. The kids get so high to smoke these indigas that they can't compute and they can't do stuff. Yeah. It's getting like I gotta find a new store where like not everybody's high and they're like ah the one that, they're all high you can't even get a sa- I got a sandwich of that I was like there's nothing on here you fucked up your sandwich yeah I'm like I'm not even going I'm like I'm just I'm boycotting the store I'm not even going down there anymore what did you not order what did you order what they put I got a tuna with with extra tuna bro there was no extra nothing Holy it was on a shit. big roll yeah it was bad dude and I was like. Yeah, I'm like, I knew it's not worth it. I, it was a stupid maneuver. Usually you buy something quick and jet. Yeah, that was just a bad move one on one. But yeah, going, you're people are getting too stoned where they can't. I want a Wawa. I'm boycotting for Wawa. I just saw a space where I'm like, that should yeah, be a Wawa. Got, oh, they're they not going to Rite Aid. They got pre-made Take sandwiches. All the Rite Take all the Rite Aid. No, they make them right there for you, bro. No, but they also got the pre-made ones, too, like the, the No, wraps. I want a fresh. I want some. Yeah, that's, that's all right. I want somebody to make fresh dope sandwiches or fresh rolls. And there should be a Wawa where that Rite Aid is going to be across from Burger King and Bayonne. Jesus. You're sitting blowing people and taking people to your, your kids to their school. Then I don't know who am I to fucking say what's to be needed, right? Fucking shit. You heard that, Scribble. Don't order no sandwiches, bro, from fucking Quick Check. No Quick Check. You know your area, what's good or not, right, Scrib? You go. You're like, yo, this place is whack. I'm going to this guy over here. No, the, They've been done. The, the, only place, the only place to get a bomb-ass sandwich in California is Jersey Mike's. Damn, that's not the even what? fucking... That's not even Jersey Mike's, dog. You, they they no, ain't got good, real but... fucking... They, they ain't, ain't got shit like on the East Coast where they, they'll make you a fucking a good submarine. You know what I mean? You ain't got an Italian deli? Like There's no Italian delis like in New York and Jersey? May, may, like that. Maybe deep maybe deep in L.A. somewhere or that deli, I haven't discovered yet. Delicatessen? Or a good nah, pizza they don't, parlor? They don't, they, they, don't like bo- they don't have bodegas over there, bro, like us. Yeah, no. I have a place down here that's a, a delicatessen. They make you chicken palm sandwiches. They, they make mozzarella. They don't have that there. They don't have any of that? They don't have that really? over there, bro. Bro, and no, I'm not even out of time. I can wait and go out there and the closest, on The closest wow. thing to that that they got here is like uh, they got little Mexican spots where they'll make you a torta or some shit, you yeah. know, which is like a Mexican sandwich. So wait, there's no Italian neighborhood in California? <laughs> what? There might be there might be a, a tiny half a square block of like a little Italy or something, but <laughs> that's what I'm saying. There's no like, oh, you know, these people are all fucking mobbed up or none of that like type of thing. Oh, uh, Mr. Scott no. said Jersey Mike's or is they a think blimpy. They are. He's right. Not that I. You got blimpies out there, Scribble? Never even heard of it. You never heard of Blimpy? That's the OG uh, sandwich I think spot. Denise, uh, yeah, Blimpy had that funny logo. I don't even know what it was. I, I'm, less, I'm just looking. It it's so blimp. child. It was a blimp, dog. It was a blimp with a face in it, right? Yeah, it's nuts. I just still don't, I don't know what it is. That's the OG sandwich it. spot over here, Scribble. It was Blimpy. Yeah. Then it was who, fucking. I don't um, know who this. Yo, do you guys remember Geno Giants? Like Geno's? Yeah. They don't, they do you don't remember getting no, one of those? Those burgers that were long, like a fucking the burgers of a sub burger. Oh my bro, god, the Gino out over there, bro. You guys are missing out, bro. Scribs, you guys got tacos and tortillas and burritos, bro. But you ain't got no Italian stuff. Do you have a fast food place? Scribs, any fast food Jonah. place? I want chicken, but like, how come we can't get pieces of chicken from like the drive through Like Burger King, don't have chicken. McDonald's every sixteen years has like we got wings. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. And like, yeah, Roy Rogers used to have chicken for us all the time. Let me get a six piece, two double R burgers, oh, a bacon you guys cheeseburger. Got, you guys got Popeyes out there, Scrib? Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, I mean, as far as chicken, we got all the the fucking chicken spots, but we ain't got no good Italian shit. So you got bodegas where you can get like rice and beans and chicken and shit, and right? Yeah, yeah, we can get all that shit. But but yeah. but if it comes to a to a bomb ass deli fucking sandwich, you're shit no. out. Of work. And pizza? No, no pizza. No. Their pizzas, Domino's and fucking Pizza Hut. Oh, yeah, yeah, our pizzas, pizza, right. but you know what though? Yeah, no, 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 there is a there is a fucking the only uh, the chicken wings or the sandwiches are good there though. 
No, Domino's. in Ocean, in Ocean, when I went to Oceanside, bro, there was a pizzeria over there because the guy was from actually Brooklyn, and he gets all his stuff from Brooklyn, from Brooklyn, New York. There's a pizza a pizzeria in Oceanside. It's like when you walk there in it, a, you feel like it's Brooklyn. There was a bomb ass fucking uh, uh, Palermo's, I think it's called. There's a bomb ass pizza joint down the street from my house, and I would go in there, and it's, it's the only fucking place in all of California that I've discovered with real Italians working in there making pizza. Shit. So I took I took my boy there uh, this last weekend to get some pizza and wings and shit, right, from some authentic Italians like myself. You know yeah. what I mean? And I go in there, and it's new owners, and it's Asian, an Asian dude. And he oh. makes this shit, and it's the worst shit I ever had in my life. He, yeah. he didn't give him the secret uh, recipe, bro. He didn't buy the recipe. Yeah, they, they, he just, he just uh, bought it. That's it. Fucking place. Uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Well, over uh, here, like over, the last, you know what's funny? The, the last whole, authentic, the last authentic Italian place, and fucking some Asian dude bought it up. <laughs> no, nah, over here, Scribble, there's a there's an Asian restaurant, bro, a Chinese restaurant that they make Mexican food. It's great. Oh my god, it's not bad though, man. They, they got it down, bro. They got it down. The one up the square, I was good. I don't even know anymore. Well, I used to debate while eating, going, no, "We don't even know what we're eating." But that's another story. Yeah, you know what the thing is, uh, and 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 you could call me racist for this, but for the most part, it's very rare that it's not this way. But if I'm getting Mexican food, I better see a fucking Mexican back there making. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I had, I went to a Mexican restaurant today called uh, Mi Pueblito. Having a side, well, it's my city, in English. Yeah. And, and and it's all, it's Mexican dudes behind there, bro. I got a nice steak burrito, some yellow rice, some pinto beans. And a taco. Now, steak burrito, it was just regular steak or was it carne asada? No, it's regular steak, bro. Chopped up. Ah, okay. They don't they do not do that carne asada stuff over here, bro. No? You never had carne asada? No, what about in, Mark? No, in California, yeah, I had it. Not over here. What is that? Carne asada, bro. It's like, it's, it's, it's the way they make it, bro. It's different seasonings and shit. It's like know. the Mexican way. It's, it's Mexican steak. It's banging, though, man. It's banging, bro. My girl's a chef. She might even have made it for me one day now. You got to tell her, bro. Jackie, carne asada. Now, stat. <laughs> I'll tell her. And when I watch this tomorrow, with her, I'll, she'll see this. I don't know if it's going to work, though, but, you know, I'm just saying, bro. You don't have to listen to me about it. She may know what it is. We'll see. You still smoking on that fucking blunt? Oh, I think you're smoking that blunt, dude. See if there's uh, any you know, left. So, I guess, so I guess I'm going to have to take my ass to the East Coast if I ever want to meet Mark, huh? Mark, yeah, because he don't, he don't fly. Yeah, I, have to hit, there's no, I don't know how much it costs to fly. I don't have the time to fly. No, I don't really even, like to even fly. if it flying was free, you would still say fucking no. <laughs> well, I you don't know dig what? It. When we finish. When we, when we finish this metal album that I'm fucking doing, maybe we'll tour and fucking I can meet Mark finally. Nah. Hey, what's this news? Who are you making this song for, bro? Uh, I can't say. It. I told D already, but I can't say it publicly. What song? All right. What song? How song? long are we going to know? He's got a song he's working on with somebody. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I know what you're talking about. I was telling him about your experience cool. with Godfrey, though, Scribs. That's crazy, Scrib. Yeah. Darker than me. What's yeah. up? Fuck. Huh? I said you're darker than me. What's up? Man, you know, I said, yo, you want a fucking theme song? I I've done shit for this guy, this guy, your comedy peers. And he's like, fuck yeah. And uh, I sent him a demo of some shit, some of the most fire shit I ever spit. Fire. And uh, and the he's next like, thing oh, I know, he's fire. got a theme Next thing I know, he's got a, a theme song from some black dude, so I knew it was clearly a uh, an issue. And if you what? know about Godfrey, that's not surprising. You know? Is that for the new? Is that for the new one that just came out? He's got like a new theme song for the last bunch of ones that came out, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He's yeah. I watch you Spears and Steinberg. Scribble, Scribble. I watch Spears Scribble wrote, and Steinberg. I'm gonna start calling Scribble Dylon, bro, because he spits hot fire. Yo, know, there's a whole thing on that kid all depressed and all this shit. Oh, did you see that shit, Scribs? Dylon, bro. Yeah. He said he said uh, Dave Chappelle ruined his life by doing that skit. Nah, what? Who's that? I don't even know who that is. You remember? You remember uh, the uh, making the band? Blow a horn for that. 
You know who Dylon is. Who the kids are making the band, bro? You remember, those, you remember the show Puff Daddy making the band? I remember it, but I never watched. You remember Dave Chappelle <laughs> making fun of it, bro? The making he made the band? fun of this dude, bro. It was pretty funny. The skit, and then the kid saying that he never got remember, a chance to do you remember, anything. You remember Dave Chappelle was in the studio, bro, and uh, and Wyclef was recording him, and he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like this. There's only five rappers that are the best in the world: Dylon, 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 and Dylon. Because I spits hot fire. <laughs> yeah, I do remember that, that, that dude said Dave Dave Chappelle ruined his life by doing that That's, skit. But yeah, it's like, bro, that. you you did it live, bro, on the show. You said that. Not Fire even that though. How about on. you come out with dope music? Like nobody, you just didn't have a chance to put bro, out that music. Guy, or that you guy didn't? was always fucking either uh, getting in trouble with the law or fucking missing parole, not going to shows. It's like so. So this dude, this dude. Never made anything of himself. Is that what you're saying? After yeah. that, no. After the show, no. Because he said he said Dave so Chappelle that, ruined that, his that, life. That's on him, bro. I, I I know so many fucking rappers who are given an opportunity and they blow it, and they never use that opportunity to fucking further their other opportunities. Yeah. Want me to come down there and do a track? Are you kidding me? And, no. bro, he, and bro, he was like, on MTV out of people all people places. Like sometimes, probably. Those guys could have made something. You, if you gave me five seconds on MTV, I'd be on Instagram like I've seen on MTV, and I'd be hitting motherfuckers up. Yeah. That's that's what you got to do, man. Like that's what I've learned is every single thing you do is a stepping stone to the next fucking thing. Well, I think you know you, what I, I mean. Think, I think the next thing you can say is your scribble, bro. I've seen on front of the Dungeon Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's not be ridiculous. Hey, I tried, bro. I tried, man. I tried. <laughs> but yeah, like, like, uh, like uh, I did a song back in fucking when I was 20 years old. I did a song for Tom Sakura, right? Yeah. That led to fucking me doing a song for the Classic Metal Show, Dean Del Rey, other comedians, right? That led to fucking Brian Callen, right? Yeah. Joe Rogan's boy. And that led to this fucking. Me doing a song for the, one of the biggest podcasts in the world is about to drop. You know what I mean? So look at that. Those you guys gotta are fucking, funny. You gotta use. Right, you gotta use shit as a stepping stone, man. The no. fuck that Dylon guy. Dylon, 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 bro, because he spits hot fire. He, he blew it. Oh, he's crying all over. So I, if you ever get a chance, bro, just watch it, bro. He's crying on all the fucking internet. What do you guys think, man? I, I think. Uh, I put a post up the other day and I got some heat for it. I think Cat Williams is better than Dave Chappelle. Well, that's putting me on the fucking spot, dude. I like Cat Williams' interviews, but I like Dave Chappelle's comedy. Okay, what about you, Mark? Um, uh... If you had to choose one. If I had to choose one, I'll take a Just choose one. How about not? How about the one Sunday we watch Pat Williams special? And then next week we watch Dave. Mark's neutral, bro. Mark's neutral. There's so much time on us. Like, you're really going to put the... If you got a gun to your head and the guy's going to tell you that you're going to suck his dick, or who's the best? Like... Who's the the better? No, 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 no. You don't got a gun to your head. You don't only have uh, a gun to your head. You got, you got a gun to uh, your head and a man's dick, a man's dick in your face, and you have to pick one or suck a dick. <laughs> Stop. Stop. I it. really know, bro. It's got to be. I probably Chappelle, bro. Chappelle's funnier. I like you can Scott, give it to, I'm not you, you, can, you can give it to Chappelle because he has more content. Cal Williams only got like three or four specials. Chappelle's got what eight. Well, but Cat Williams, been last, on, Cat Williams been out longer though. And maybe or just, or just as long, just as long. Most Def and Quali come out and like fucking pop off Black Star do tracks before the Chappelle show. How about that? Ooh. Talib Quali, Talib Quali needs to get smacked in his dumb fucking face. You don't like Talib, bro. You've been watching well, him, most, huh? You've been watching him lately. Did it most? How's his podcast doing? When I haven't watched it in a while. You still do that? That podcast with that girl, Jasmine oh. Lee, and. The, yeah. that, 
Oh, that unbearable yeah. fucking unbearable cunt. No, the, 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 the Everlast yeah, episode was good, though. What happened to that whole thing? Does the that still go on, that cast? He still I does know, this I cast? You, you never know what goes on with Talib because now he's off Instagram again because right. he fucking calls everyone a racist. Are you serious, bro? He's, you know on, that, he's, on, he's on that again? He, he never stops that. Everything is white supremacy. Every white person is inherently racist. It's like, yo, all your fans are white. What the fuck are you talking about? Mark, you're racist, bro. I love Talib as far as an MC, one of the fucking technical... Not better than most deaf. Uh, you know, I just listen to... No, I got. I listened to something the other day that blew my mind by him. It was probably just the best thing he ever spit. There's something called "I Get High" by him and Most Def, which is Quali's most of singing, and yeah. he he kills it the whole track. And I'm like, I don't he know if there's him. anything. Yeah, he's had some really incredible things early though. I don't know his late stuff. I mean, how he hasn't been rapping, right? He's kind of not in the game only with Most, right? No, the record here, record most, there. Most is a Hollywood superstar now. It's not most. Yeah, his most name is y- Yasin Bay, bro. Let's have some respect. Didn't he change, right, he changed bro. his name? He changed his name. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yasin well, Bay. You, would you sit? Would you? Would you sit here and call Cat Stevens? Cat Stevens? No, you would call him Yusuf Islam, motherfucker. <laughs> is that, I don't even know that was his name. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, Cat Stevens changed that. it up too. No, he's always Cat Stevens, and most deaf is always most deaf. I don't give a fuck. I mean, most deaf is his rap name, dude. It's like, yo, that's your rap name, dog. Stop. That's 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 his permanent name forever. That's it. Yo, that black that that fucking that early mo- black on both sides is one of the greatest fucking rap it's records of all ever. time. Dude, they were ever. rolling when that well, after that that record, the Black Star record, and we thought we were never going to see them ever again. It kind of disappeared. Yeah, then that dude put out what Train of Thought with High Tech. Yeah, something like yeah. that, right? Yeah, there was a little bit rolling there, and you thought maybe like, all right, and then these dudes are going to just get back. That never happened. <laughs> yeah. The most put out some fucking records along the way. I kept up with most. I didn't like the quality beats after a certain record. He wasn't using, you, he was using somebody. I didn't like it. I was just like, ever, I didn't really did like watch, these did you, ever watch, and, did you ever watch Most Def in that movie with uh, Kevin Bacon, The Woodsman? No, the most stuff movie I saw him do was the one where he was played a doctor. One of his no. first, I think that was his first movie. If you watch, if the you watch, the, if you watch the Woodsman, Kevin Bacon plays a, a child molester, bro, who gets out of jail and shit. And most stuff is like is as a, a cop and he's always watching him. I didn't see him. Shit, it's a fucking good movie. Most stuff's good. Most stuff is incredible at everything he does, except being a parent. Ah, oh, here we go. Low blow. <laughs> well, going on I, love, well. I, I love him as an artist, but he's got like he's got he's got like eleven kids, and he doesn't take care of any of them. Uh, but according to Diabolic, Ooh. wow! But I believe it. I believe it. God, Even no, he, he, has, he had a really good record out. Most Def and Talib, man, they're yeah. fucking incredible artists. But it's just one of those things where it's like. Fuck, I can forever listen to Black on Both Sides, but I don't know if I can respect y'all as humans anymore. You got to separate it, bro. You got to separate it, man. Yeah. What do you yeah, think? What do about that. what about the most deaf and quality record? What do you think about that? What, that one one? No, the first one. Oh. Black Star? Yeah, because they have other cuts. They have, like, some lost shit that's around, but, yeah, that... The definition. I love it, bro. I love, I love everything yeah. Yeah. most have done. Yeah. I love. It. Yeah. No, they were all good. All the records that. along the way it was had something. Black Jack Johnson. Yeah, he had a couple of good records. He even had the packaging was good on all the records. They were always different. He went with a clear case. You know who financed all that shit? Was that label that that was on? Oh. Who's that? Rupert Murdoch. Ain't that some shit? Who the fuck is that? The Fox. Fox. A really? billionaire. He owns, he owns Fox News. What do you like most? What, what's going on there? No, Rupert Murdoch owned, financed his son, created the record label that put out Blackstar. Nah, That's wild. Okay. 
So they had on they, 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 they had fucking infinity fucking dough. They yeah. only made one record. I mean, they only made that record and this record. They had, I think, they had a single, a couple of cuts a few years ago. But they're one of those legends of people that only with only this match of stuff on wax. You know what I mean? It's a handful of stuff on wax to start. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I forget. The, uh, they have an odd Yeah, right. I have all that rocker stuff. The rocker stuff is yeah. wild. But, Rocker. I get high. They have a song, I get high with Quali will blow your mind, bro. You know, they had me that, that, look, looking shit up the other day in a dictionary, bro, Quali. That's when he bring up some dude named Van Sertimus in his song. I went, who the fuck or what is Van Sertimus? Me and my name. boy E. And he looked he looked it up and he sent it to me. It's like because he said something like uh something Egyptian like Islamic bomb rings, and then and it was something to do with his doctor from Egypt. And then I was like, oh, shit, this dude's Van Sertimus is a real guy. You hear a word, you drop it, you're like, yeah. what the fuck? And he, yeah, he, he, that was edu- yeah, educational, bro. Who's Jada? He, Who's if, Jada? Jada influenced uh, if, Talib? If you like Talib and all that shit, you should check out R.A. the Rugged Man. He's got multiple songs with Talib. Yeah, and, that's uh, a good dude. I mean, he is a good rapper. He is real good. I hear him on a lot of stuff. Not bro. says Necro, but... So uh, Who's the other dude? There's somebody else that blew my mind. Oh, J- Jada. Somebody Jada else with a Pink. regular name that blew my mind. <laughs> Jada, bro. Who's a rapper with a regular name that's really good? I think this dude has such a regular name. A regular name? And like, uh, and was, yeah. Um, Dave East or something? Is it something like that? Dave, David Banner? Yeah. Dave Banner? Yeah. No, Dave East is, yeah. You might be talking about Dave East. There's a couple of people. My friends are like, yo, look at this dude. I'm like... Who and then I was like, oh, this guy's incredible. Certain dudes like that with regular name, like John Smith type rappers, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. The Joe well, Smith rappers. Rock him, that's his real name, and that's the uh, dumbest rap name ever. What about Will Smith? What the uh, left uh, fielder? Yeah. Or the the, the, the left fielder or the catcher? There's two Will Smiths in baseball. No, One's no. like an outfielder. What are you trying to no, say no, about bro. Will? Will Smith is Will, Will Smith was the motherfucking Fresh Prince. Not trying. Yeah, he's always you, the Fresh Prince. When you, whatever. LL was my guy from back in the day, rapper. Like when I was young, that was my. Yeah, I, and until I, I the, then, then, that, then Kane came out, and I went, I don't know, I like this. They were both good along oh, the way. Okay. Those first couple of Kane records. I, I think LL's nobody knows made. nothing about my rhyme ain't done. LL Cool J has a song called "My Rhyme Ain't Done." It's him talking about being with everybody, he's bro. Over, like he's overrated. Kings dog. and queens and cards and. I agree. Like, LL's overrated, bro. Cannabis buried him, bro. Buried yeah, him. Yeah, I agree. I agree with first that. First round knockout, bro. He buried him in that song. I, I like the. I like. Say. Yeah, but I liked as a teen, as a sixteen year old kid. I liked young LL. On those, no, on I like the one he came out with After. that fucking with that radio song, Box. Remember fucking, remember in, uh, what the fuck was that fucking movie, bro? What? Run no. DMC, tougher than leather, not tougher than leather. The other one, Crush Groove. Crush Groove. That's no, the but his second record, well, like his, his thing it, after Dr. the Balls was really good. You I'm can't, no one can deny, no one can deny early LL, even though to me he was just a one man Run DMC. Yes. Kinda, you know, but, but you, can't, you can't deny you can't deny what he did in this fucking impact, and, and he had some bangers. He always Except has two dudes one. like this next to him. Bobcat, <laughs> that DJ Bobcat. Look, once in a while he go like this, like, right? Oh, I got to cut need, some. I need love, though. I I need love is where I cut Hello Cool J off. Yeah, that right. was on. That's one song, bro. Stop. Yeah, yeah but what I was know, the next thing after that? The yeah, the next the next album was what? Mama said knock you out. No? Yeah. Or was there yeah, one in between? So. Yeah, because that's like three, right? His, he had that first record and then the second record with I'm bad. Bro, isn't it like LL, Panther, LL, with a Panther. And then Mama the only, said LL's the only hip hop artist to stay on the same label for his whole career. Def Champ. Yeah. He's the only hip hop artist to stay on one label. Even dude during that cannabis beef. I mean, he, his rap career was already on the down when the, when the cannabis beef happened, so that was perfect for cannabis, you know what I mean? But he was even on Death Jam when that beef was taking place. He released that album with that cannabis beef on it. Yeah. 
And the shit, the shit sold a hundred thousand copies, bro. And he was still on Def Jam. They, they will never let that motherfucker go. Nope, he's Def Jam for life. And that's cool. That's and, cool, and, bro. They, they they let go of Method Man. They ain't let go of LL. <laughs> yeah, that Method Man is fucking. Is there is there a Wu Tang album after the first one? It's good. No, the second one's all right, man. Wu Tang Forever is good. The Killer Bees. Wu Tang Forever was good. Yo, they got cuts on certain records where they all nine of them are on tracks that are really good. That's all I can vouch for. There's one on a Ghostface record called Nine Million Brothers that'll blow your mind. You ever uh, heard of that? Well, all the solo, all the solo albums are bangers. What is this? When they got the that, one. who wrote this? That I'm, nine I'm that track, bro, with the tracks where there's everybody on it. Is that LL? I'm that type of guy. Yeah. That's Mr. Scott's with favorite. With Wu-Tang, though, I, I, with Wu-Tang, other than the first album, I find myself really a lot more into the affiliates. The, the Wu-Tang Killer Bees and the, those compila- the Killer Bee compilations. I really love a lot of those motherfuckers, like Four Cloud and shit. So you don't like yeah, the, so you, don't many like, of you don't like all the OG Wu Tang? I was that's funny. Yeah. I was listening to like I had that Bobby Digital, then there's the Liquid Swords. You talk about like shit like that? Yeah, Bobby that Bobby, yeah. first Bobby yeah. Digital. That's fine. Yeah. I could yeah, I, I didn't understand. There's that something part. on there. There's I, a New York City song on there. Something with that, Neff that's tremendous on there with a hot beat. At that time I didn't uh, get I didn't get like 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 Retro double Godfather. Retro but Godfather, you know, bro. There's this, there's this Wu Tang. He's on the Bobby Digital album. He's this Wu Tang affiliate. His name is War Cloud. He's in prison for smoking angel dust and burning the school down. Uh, who's but this the, dude, who's the one that cut his penis off? Hold up, hold up. This dude, that's Christ Bearer. But this dude, War Cloud, he's got, he's like RZA, but even crazier, bro. Like he's got the crazy. You have to be. High on acid to understand what the fuck this guy's talking about. He says shit like uh, silver ants and golden beetles crawling throughout my paragraph. Chief War Cloud to peel a lemon and share a drag. It's like you gotta be on angel dust and fucking acid at the same time. War Cloud is incredible. And the dude who cut his dick off, he's from uh, Black Knights of the North Star. His name is Christ Bear. Cut his yeah. fucking dick off, Mark. Cut his dick off. Yeah, my my PCP. I heard of that story. I don't care how high I am, bro. I'm not cutting off Mr. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, I tried to do a song with that dude. What he cut your uh, mic? He cut your uh, mic off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Luckily, luckily, you know he. I don't think he wants to do anything in the public anymore after all that shit. <laughs> but he's got a fat white bitch now. Oh, oh, he's got money. What we got, money. Mark? Mark, we on here, Mark, we on here for two hours and twenty six minutes. That's crazy. Crazy. But you gotta think, bro. He's a he's a black dude, so even if he cut half his dick off, he's still probably got eight inches. You know what I'm saying? He's he's pack a lacking, bro. He's got he's got the uh, <laughs> he, he's got what is who was that dude, bro? Fucking uh, that dude that got his dick cut off. Fucking Bobbit. He got he bobbed yeah. himself, bro. Yeah, yeah. John Wayne Bobby. Whatever. But if you haven't, go back and listen to that first uh, Wu Tang Killer Beast compilation from '98. And uh, Mark, I love all dude, Mark was probably in the I studio. Think I, with had them, that. Bro. Oh, I had one of the Bees ones. It's it's a black and yellow one. Oh, uh, what was it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was good. Album. It was good. The black no, and was the not, first no. Album, right? He means the affiliation. He means like oh, that next okay. one, right? Is that what you're talking about? There's all no, kinds of artists the on one. that. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I yeah. I think, yeah, that's a, fun. That's got a, on it. Yeah, there's a drop of those records in between records of like, like you said, they're kind of compilated of motherfuckers you don't know with Wu Tang members. Yeah. But none of those guys, all, none, of those, all, none of those guys made it famous like like the Wu Tang, bro. No, wow, but some of them wow, tracks wow. on there. There's some gems on there, though. There's some tracks. There's there's. You there's you stuff, could dude. you could debate. I mean, not, none of them got as big as Wu Tang, but some of them definitely made it. Like Killer Army, bro. Killer Army and Shaheen. Yeah, there's some motherfuckers. Yeah, they're running on some of them records that I got. That's black. You know what's good? The uh, 
I like the Ghostface records, bro. I rolled with those let, Ghostface let, let records. Me, let me ask you guys this, but what do you think about ODB Son? Do you think he's original, or do you think he's just just basically just mimicking his pops? I don't like it. Who? OD, I don't like, like Son. Get your own yeah, style, yeah. bro. I understand you're you're paying tribute, but get your own style eventually. That's what I say. You That's think, tough. What do you think, Mark? Come like on, you know, know, like but uh, you got to like Wolfie can play like Van Halen, but, but like this dude can't act like an ODB. Wolfie doesn't. No, he play doesn't. Van but Halen. if you come out and but he can, he can come out and do a set if he wanted to fucking I mean, this, that, and the other I thing. Mean, go you, home. You can't, you can't compare that to Wolfie because Wolfie got taught by his father. Of course, he's gonna teach him his licks, but he's yeah. Not so his this licks. dude can't run around and and rap and act like that dude. Is that but, what but, but Scribble's Wolf, saying? Well, Wolfie doesn't act like his father though. He's got his own personality. No. He's got his own songs. I'm telling you, would somebody get that kid and get him? He's fucking in the gym and make him look like Jason Momoa. Stop it. Yeah, he does, he does need, I told you he, that. Yeah, he does need to fucking slim down. He, he'll look like Alex. If Everything he in the down. world. I'm saying, I'm saying it's okay. It's your, it's your pops. You know what I mean? So it's okay to pay tribute and, you know, represent him. But, does he make music but, though? Does he actually make music, or yeah, is he just a yeah, member of Wu Tang? Yeah, okay. He makes he, ma- he makes original music, but he sounds just like ODP. <laughs> Changing the words. Yeah, <laughs> just, just not like as creative. You know? Not as creative oh, because nice. he ain't on Angel Dust and fucking heroin. It's good. <laughs> How many rappers have sons? With uh, there's probably a lot that I haven't paid attention to. Who else sons make? DMC has kids that. Do stuff, right? No, run. Diggy. Right. Diggy, oh, Diggy was for a hot minute. No, I wasn't going to DJ. By, uh, somebody... I'm followed by uh, the second generation Wu. How about the kid from? Isn't there Easy E had a kid, right? It was on this reality yeah, show. Young yeah. Easy, yeah. yeah, he raps. He does shit with ICP. There's a lot of kids that like rap his sons. Like it's crazy. I mean, but none of them broke out like and made a big name for themselves. You know, not fucking. You know. Yeah. And yeah. Breaking out the shadow. What I mean is like they, none of them. None of them broke out the shadow. Remember there was that one day well, like you, in, in in rock you, like, you, I, the cream son, the son. How are you gonna break out of the shadow when you name your group second generation Wu Tang player? You know. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! Never mind, bro. Never mind, man. It's tough. I mean, that's like Wolfie going on saying, "Yeah, hey, yeah, man, I, I'm, I'm, you know, instead of saying Van Halen, well, Van Halen too." You know, what do you shit. think of Wolfie? Do you like that shit, that mammoth shit? I can, I can, I can kill us. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't. I heard what I hear from Wolfie. I don't know something just not attracting me to go. I guess I'm not a kid enough to go like I gotta go get Wolfie. Oh, shit. What, about, what about Big Pun son, Chris Rivers? Oh, he's fire. Chris Boy, Rivers is yeah, good. Chris, cool. Chris, Chris Rivers is good. Fucking Eve representing the Brizons with that. The Brizons. <laughs> Yo, Scribble, you ain't a rapper unless you visit the Bronx. In case you did right. not know, here we you go. Got, you got, and, and once you visit the Bronx, you got to listen to all the Shooty's mark. Groove records. <laughs> you got to listen to one Shooty's Groove record and then listen to Big Oh, that's Pun. to get Mark's blue hey. check, Mark. Hey, they're, from, Mark they're from the Bronx, bro. You know, Bronx you know I fucking, you know I know about Shooty's Groove. Get down, bro. Fucking tribal, fucking rock, fucking in rap. There was, no, there was nothing that's ever going to be like that. No. So what it was, it was they're tribal. Pretty, yeah, we are fourth generation new metal. Great Ooh. fucking dudes, man. They were cool motherfuckers yeah, you had to too, slip bro. Slipping that little dig, right? They're cool. <laughs> they played so. They played a lot of really good shows. A lot of hardcore bands. They were. I saw. They were so fun, bro. I saw them. Live. So fun, so fun, insane. They opened Total up for insanity. power, man. They opened up for power, man. But they had that one song, "Faithful," where they had a chick singer in it, and then uh, when they didn't have the chick the two times. Like for, there was a chick from their neighborhood. You could tell, like this, the home girl came down. I gave them my card and stepped to them after a show and told them Jackie will sing. You know that? Well, they did what? I worked at the trade center. I gave him my card, Mark Bernardo, with the trade center logo on the company I work for. Like, yo, B, 
you guys did faithful yourself like we are the light of the world when it was some yeah. a girl would have sang like we are you know yeah after the show i stepped to them this, this is like the 12th time we saw them i was like yo i noticed you know i was like see that girl over there jackie on her game boy in a doorway <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah like not wanting any shine but i just went yo homegirl sing that you ever we live we come to every i did, did years like, like okay. years later when they were looking for a bass player Dude, we, I've seen them in every capacity. I've seen them with a skateboarder play in front of them, all the skate dudes. They played at the pier down the block from the Trade Center. Yeah. Saw a few shows that year in, like, 99, and High Definition was coming out. I saw their record release party. Yeah, we've seen them many, 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 many times. Many, many times. Like, I've, 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 seen, I've still seen them the most, and I've seen the Winery Dogs eight times. Still seen Shooter's Groove more than anybody I've ever seen, probably. The winery Dogs. Or Billy Sheen. Like I've seen Billy Sheen in Roth. I've seen him with Niacin. I've seen him with Mr. Big. Like, you know, I have seen this guy in all these bands since 1989. 86, maybe. Yeah. So it's crazy. And so it's Judy's group. We just kind of were just going anytime they were playing local shows. Even if it was like Saturday, Sunday, and next Friday, we'd go to those shows, bro. Shooty's Groove. I remember I had that. I wish I still had that cassette tape, bro, the single. Opening up for people, and then in the one year, they get their shit together and they will headline a little I don't know it's sad man they're, they're just one of those bands they're like they missed, I mean, even right? if they would have gotten even if they could have gotten to like seven dust level I feel like that would be awesome but they're just one of those bands that right. will remain they never made an probably ever band. money they, they probably never the really made any money either no they probably play with big bands but they slipped through the cracks they play with 311 on that cruise. If you looked them up, the last big Whoa. live thing they did. Yeah. No, they were cool dudes. You know, I saw something happen that I don't know what happened where I was like standing in like the second a person from the stage. And here comes Shooter's Groove to walk on the stage. And the guitar player's walking by. And some kid stopped the guitar player. Like, you know, when you like, oh, hey, dude. And he said something to him. And he went, Donnie went, fuck you, dude. Fuck you. And just went back to, you know, and plugged the guitar and was getting ready. I was like, what the fuck? What did I just miss? What did he just say to him? It's bro, like fucking shows and yo, the shit you missed. He's right, bro. Drag Pipe is the most underrated fucking band. From his drag Pipe should have been famous. I agree. There with you me. go. That should have been on your that should have been on your top five. Not fucking kiss. Yeah, drag pipe, man. Fuck. Yeah, local rock, local podcast, my ass. You forgot yeah. about yo, the I fucking can, I can the Yo, D, I can no, put together Puya. your. I, I can. Puya. I can put. I Puya. can put together your your Puya. top five underrated better than you can. Yeah, probably. I'll I, do think, a, I didn't think about drag pipe. I'm replacing one of mine and putting Puya. Puya they were great. Man. That was great. You're out of your mind. That was some fun shit, bro. When that was out, some good records there, bro. Okay, what about the Puya? Booyah tribe. <laughs> They're Booyah better tribe. than POD. Oh, the Booyah tribe. Don't fuck with them, bro. That was high, right? Uh, Booyah tribe. Booyah tribe are down with POD on, uh, and are on several of their albums. Oh. That fucking another body murdered every once in a while that comes out Yo, of my Scribble, car. I'm like, what? oh my Scribble. God. Mark Bernardo wants to know Whoa. what happened to Wolf. Whoa. We don't know, man. I think, uh, I know he's doing uh, still well right now. Yeah. But uh, I think I think he might be. This is purely speculation. I have no fucking clue. Uh huh. I think I think he is the, the type of dude who like likes to tip some back or you know smoke some weed or something. You know. Should I get stop playing my bass a little more and try to get the Bernardo Bernardo project? The Bernardo Bernardo project. Yeah, with me and you. Are you Italian? Yes, mom? I am. When me and Wolf, is he Italian? I thought he was Mexican. With an Italian last name. No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying because you're either uh, Italian or Mexican if you got that last name. No, I'm Italian. Mexican. I'm Italian. That's from the Italian. My father's father was Italian. He's probably um, related to Wolf. Uh, we play a uh, jazz duo. <laughs> Bass and drums. Bro, you probably related to him. Don't even realize it. I don't know. I don't know anybody from California. Bro, I know from the other side of the family. Bro. 
Everyone's I, related. I know. Uh, so they that. say. I know. Yeah, they're my cousins. No, you know, but you know I know Scribble? them that long. Scribble, before we get out of here, bro, I want to tell you one thing, bro. My left hand has power in it, bro. Power. From, all, from the church you lost? <laughs> yeah, what's up, bro? Power from power. Power and, my left power hand. and big. I'm changing my left hand's name to Ice T. This is Ice T right here. That's oh, it. yeah, left that's hand. the same as Ice T. Anytime I dab somebody, bro, I'm like, yo, man, that's a dab from Ice T, bro. Word. Word. All right, motherfuckers, man. We've been on this thing for like about two hours and 40 fucking minutes, That's crazy. dude. That's nuts. It's You're been welcome. a minute. That's why. We all scribble, bro, for 30 minutes. <laughs> crazy. That's right. The phone's dying, too. Yeah. So, man, we're going to be out of here, bro. We'll see you guys next week. Don't sniff anybody's feet. Stay straight. Appropriate. And we'll be here next week with flowers for your next date because Scribble's going to blow your mind up with a rap song that he impregnated your wife with a good life. And we out, bro, with no heavy strife. Peace.